Oi, oi. Wiggly Flatfirms, Matt Lika speaking. Hi, guys. Welcome back. <coughs> Excuse me a second. Let me just check my comms are in order and everything is iry. Well done. Thank you, Dragon Rebirth. And I'll just be with you all in a second. Good to see you all today. I'm going to have a little chat, hang out. Sounds good. You sure? Okay, awesome. So, good to see you guys. Welcome back to Flat Earth British Think Tank. The duel of PooTube. So today we're going to talk about something that I've been thinking about. I've been thinking about since I was a small child, and it is this. The battle, the spiritual battle that is raging, okay? The battle of good uh, versus evil, okay? Or Christ consciousness or Krishna consciousness versus the demon's seed. Who wins? Who wins in all of these different resets? Um, I'd like to think this. I like to think um, maybe it's just, you know, wishful thinking. But I like to think that good always prevails, is what I like to think. But maybe in some of these weird resets that they keep happening, maybe that isn't the case. That good doesn't prevail in some of these different narratives. You know, we're going to look into the... Welcome all. I'll give you all a shout in a minute and come back. We're going to look into the narratives of throughout history and throughout resets. Um, each time coming up to a reset, there's strange atmospherical phenomena, there's signs here, there's signs there. But everyone in reality or in this matrix seems to need some sort of ideology. Remember the communist thing going down? That must have been weird for all the people who live there, but in a religious sense. So they need to be saved be saved they need to be saved they need a comfort they need um, an answer to whatever this place is at the moment i'm sure you will all agree that it, the realm is gone triple nuts it's all gone really really strange tomorrow um, you'll all be enjoying um, because most of the internet will be raging about the eclipse tomorrow the only bit i'll be interested in is if the moon actually turns up, because it isn't in 2017, as I mentioned in the Next Level movie. Um, but that is about it, actually, because it's an American eclipse, isn't it? So if it does rapture any of you or go, you know, turn everything zombie or we all get sucked up into a black hole, whatever happens, um, that'll be you lot because it's only in America. Uh, we'll be fine over here. So I'm not really bothered. <laughs> There's been many contenders for the Antichrist throughout time, okay? Back in the Roman days, Nero, Nero was thought to uh, be a contender for the Antichrist and probably was. He sounded a bit of a bastard. Um, but he fiddled while Rome burned. Uh, so it got reset. Um, there's been 12th century um, Antichrists. There's been 15th century. And we're going to look into one that I did a chapter on in my book. OK, which is really interesting because you don't find too much about this, although it is in Wikipedia now, but years ago it wasn't. Um, Sabataya, Zebi and the cult of, which is apparently the biggest cult um, in reality. Um, and it was happening in 1600s in the time of 1666 or I-666, which is a definite reset date because, again, London had the Great Fire of London in that very year. I was reset itself. So we're going to be thinking about some of the contenders. So I'm trying to think, you know, in every reset, this 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 goes down. This is written into the narrative that you have this pseudo Christ character. OK, who's just fucking everything up and being a bit spiteful. And then you've got the, um, the good one. OK, the Christ consciousness um, entity in every single reset. So um, I'm trying to think of some good contenders for the Christ one in previous research. We've got loads of Antichrist ones, but the place has always apparently been uh, shit in a handbag. I'm sure we had a golden era uh, somewhere where, you know, conscious, because that's where I think all of this is anyway, the whole narrative is 
Um, I think it's just the rise and fall of consciousness uh, as the something loses its energy um, and consciousness drops with it. It's happened before and it'll happen again. And that is the reset. But, um, <coughs> you know, um, regarding the eclipse, this is just me personally, is because the powers that should not be used that. They did in the film Apocalypto, didn't they? They kept chopping people's heads off till they come back again. And then they, you know, proclaimed their magical powers because they could block the sun out. There's a little bit of that going on. And anything to do with the sky is them anyway. So, um, yeah, just not bothered. Yeah, not bothered at all, really. But anyway, I'll be, I'll be doing other things. <laughs> so um, there's my son there. Yeah, man. Can concentrate. Yeah, yeah. My son had a bit of a shit day today. Fucking other shit rolls down But yeah, he uh it's a hard time. It's a hard life for every, everybody, I reckon. Anyway, uh, regardless of what lifestyle you come from, it's just so tricky trying to navigate the realm, isn't it? Uh all of the time. So much fuckery and uh for a lot of people, distraction. Um, but when you get down to it, what you got to do is it's all about um, personal betterment, isn't it? It's about, um, you know, trying to improve your soul. You know, I, I watched a documentary earlier about like the food industry, the food mafia, uh, where they're like literally the worst people in the world. They stick fucking nitrates in right red meat to make it pink and it gets like, carcinogenic. And they couldn't give a fuck. They've all had payoffs. And they're all on this payroll and they got this look on them. It's like, yeah, your soul is so fucked right now. And it, they just lie through their teeth and they look exactly like the, basically um, like astronauts gone wild. If you ever seen that with uh, Bert Sabral? Yeah. Same look on their face. The load of bullshit and lies just eking out of them on a payoff. So um, that's evil. That's the sort of evil as well. But there's a lot of fucking bad shit going on in the world. But I'm sure there's a lot of good stuff. But at the moment, um, consciousness is on a low, man. Everyone is proper struggling. And um, there's a lot of fear attached to things happening in the realm, isn't it, at the moment? Yeah, that's hijacking consciousness. That is exactly why they weaponized YouTube, is to get in your fucking head. Fuck with you, yeah? Rise above it. It's only, you know, when you're in your home and you're thinking inside your mind, that's all that's really important because that's all you really got. Um, you look after yourself in your inner world. That is what we're going to do. That's what we're doing here. Okay. Is this a consciousness, not that evolution is a thing, and I don't really use that word, but a consciousness development. There you are. That's what we're doing on Flat Earth British. Okay. And avoiding, um, and I know they don't want, they don't want that. They don't want that. They want you to make sure people are maximum afraid and freaked out and head fucked and scrambled. So is the nature of mind control. And just be down and it just fucking squashes people in a time when we all really need to get together and get smart and quick. Because, um, well, like I said, you know, I like to think good prevails, but I don't see too much signs of it at the moment in the realm. Everyone seems to be just deeply, deeply depressed, wondering what happens next. Um, and just surmising out of their consciousness. And it's always like dark, permitting horrible stuff that comes out of their consciousness because that is the way they've been wired through bad energy and a negative default system. So, yeah, that's just all um, part of the program in consciousness, in the matrix, um, the AI, to stop you being who you really are. And, you know, we're superhumans, guys. The ability, you know, the best of what we can do, you know, would you like to be able to just take off on a beach and fly? Yeah, they, they say you can't do things like that. But you've got monks on the Heights of Baton Plateau are doing all sorts of mystical shit and all sorts of superhuman abilities. Why? Why they're just people just like us? It's because they've gone in and they've unlocked. Because all of this, whatever I do and whatever anybody else does, what I've been doing is decoding decoding and try and make some sense of what the fuck this thing is that we're in okay um all of what they say i don't buy any of it okay i'm not even buying i don't i don't know what it is that's what i'm saying okay <laughs> it's not a watery ball spinning in a vacuum i can even, i'm fucking tell you that for nothing but what it is i couldn't even fucking tell you 
okay? All that I do know is I'm perceiving all of what I'm seeing in my mind. So that's where the, my universe exists. That's where everything exists to me, is it in my mind. And it's the same for you. Although we are consciousness sharing this experience, um, you know, science would have it, you know, dictating the reality. I'm not so sure. I think they just hijack consciousness, get everyone on the same mindset, you know, of, you know, the whole, you know, why does anyone give a fuck about all of these sports personalities or Hollywood stars or royalties and all of these people? They stick on magazines. Why are people so fucking needy that they want to read about? Oh, aren't they fabulous? So look at the shoes she's wearing. Oh, my God, I wish I could be like that. I wish you could be like that. What, a fucking baby eater? No, I don't fucking think so. You know, it's this place is highly fucked. And the people that run it have got a weird death cult going on. <clears throat> not that that's not scary, because all of the people in the world are struggling to combat this evil that reigns. Okay? Now, going about um, the, the Antichrist, well, um, let's just presume... For the sake of argument, I don't want to be too controversial. The Jews wrote the Bible, okay? And even though and Wikipedia will tell you that they coined the term Satan. And the whole narrative of um, an evil Satan with horns and everything else, and all of this paradigm that they, they gave us, okay, is by the Roman Catholic Church, who is actually the devil, or who's running them. Obviously, because of everything they get up to. Strange, isn't it? So, good. Where's the good? Well, I see good all the time, but I see a lot of people taking, you know, life for granted and a lot of me, me, me going on, selfishness and all of that, but it's just a human trait. But people, people live different lives, I get it. I get it. <clears throat> people just don't know because it's outside their frame of reference and... I wouldn't presume anyone to have had a hard life like me. So we're going to talk about a chapter in my book that I covered on the Holy Grail. That was a great reset. Um, and all of this was uh, before that weird time that just went on a few years ago. Um, Sabate, Sabati or Zabi, uh, the 17th century Antichrist. Now, this character, he basically uh, proclaimed himself Messiah. Okay. I had millions of followers, and mainly, as you know, the Hashassans, yeah, like in John Wick, named after Hashish. Well, Hashassans, they were his gang, he joined his cult, um, started having visions, uh, visions of uh, Sabate in their consciousness. He, he basically hacked their consciousness, okay? Um, and it said, it said that the followers um, are the Jews, but not the Jews, the crypto Jews. There is a difference, not the Jewish people. The crypto Jews and the Jesuits, who are the police force and the secret police for the Vatican. <coughs> so he proclaimed himself, I'm going to look it into in a minute, he proclaimed himself Messiah, but his habits were that of the Antichrist. Now, it is said because of his um, involvement in setting up um, and involvement with Frank's um, Adam Weiss of the setting up in the area of Illuminati and all of that stuff that followed came from this in 1666 and started with this this guy. And there's some narratives out there, but they are kept well down. We won't find too much about it on the internet. I'm going to show you a lot. Is that they run the show at the moment, like Hollywood. And this is what it all is, isn't it? I noticed Disney's gone right really. Um, weird disney nasties now they used to be really like well no they were always had subliminals in them didn't they you know um but then now they're really really gnarly it's like all sorts of not to put a finer point on it homosexuality and stuff going on <laughs> but the times have changed i'm i'm old school i'm from the 1970s yeah so i like boobs Lady Gardens. So let's talk about stuff. Vibes, good to see you. Lovely. Um, good read your book. Yeah, thank you. Questions. It's like it's hundreds and hundreds of questions in that book of all uh, brain juicy, actually. So, JT, so what's going on? 
So, yeah, don't be worried anything's going to happen tomorrow with the eclipse. I've seen loads of eclipses. They're fucking boring as shit, guys. All that happens is it goes dark and you go fucking cold for a bit and then it fucks off. What do you fucking do? How memorable. Yousef. But, you know, each their own. Unless the moon don't show up and you get it on film. That'd be good. But otherwise... See, Brian Stavely's in the same mindset as myself. Yeah, two great minds think alike. <laughs> Youssef, welcome. Oh, South Africa. We love South Africa. We love anywhere, really. Max? Yes. Even the countries that have been, you know, sort of shit on by the internet. Yeah. I'm like, we don't do that here. Um, Robert Sphere, I don't know him, um, wrote about uh, 1666 too. I wonder if he included... Um, Zabby in his narrative. Robin, we love you, Robin. Love to you, Robin. And there's my bro, who's up in London. London at 11. What's happening, my man? Good to see you. Have you been cranking up? I don't think I have. I haven't seen you. Combat Finn, hope you and fam are all well. Much much love. Jump off. Combat Finn and Manny. Um, I have both your books. I know you are. Thank you, Manny. You're awesome. Awesome you are. What a man. What a man, what a man, what a man. Joe, no, don't break up. So, so growing up in the 60s and 70s was the best. Yes, the growing up in the 60s and the 70s was a really safe time. Yeah, and everyone, had, everything was clean. Yeah, you didn't get like vandalism and shit and rubbish. Like, you but must know by now, I'm like Howard Hughes. Yeah, I mean, I can't do rubbish or garbage. And litter, litter bugging should be executional offence in, in my head. Or at least a family something yeah so um there was none of that we saw the rent man going around and say sort your garden out oh you'd be kicked up so everyone had beautiful gardens it was growing food oh it was better times but no one had anything to steal so there wasn't much crime going on and everybody talked to one another oh that was that was weird don't do that anymore really they do where i live i live in a little village in a city called cardiff where everyone just does their thing. Uh, do you Dan Payne. They don't do main, mainstream bullshit in, um, in, in Ely, where I live. They're, they're too smart for that. They don't bother with any of it. They can't be bothered. They don't do rules either. <coughs> uh, Doc Shelley, and as a, as a, a, as a result of that, um, it's a really safe place to be. The safest. So, because they please themselves. Um, holy, holy man. Good to see you. Honey Ann, sorry, I'm fucking dyslexic. Honey Ann, Honey Ann. <laughs> um, Lee Free's been with me for like ever. Um, Wes ain't seen enough G's. Can't help that, Wes. Ooh, and we got Terry Davis in the office. What's happening? Um, Clips is in the, UK, in the UK, was fab. Yeah, it went a bit dark, didn't it? A little bit. Tried to catch on camera and stuff. I remember that afternoon. Bob Sykes. It was one of the greatest memories I've ever had. <laughs> Silas Father, I will never forget it. Silas Father, that's just me though, you know. I call antiqu antiquity old rubbish as well. Helen G, see you lovely. Piss all over it, fuck it, fuck it. The, the whole paradigm needs to be reprogrammed is what I think. So that's what we need and we need maximum decodes, okay? Maximum decodes. Break it off matrix. Leave it to me, guys. I'm doing my best. So um, we're going to do other stuff here today when people are gathering. We've got 300 dollars of you shit out of nowhere, which is an awesome thing. If you could share this out, subscribe and all them YouTube things that they do. We're going to have a giggle later on. So what we're going to do, after I do a little presentation about um, all of the Antichrists and the characters for the Antichrist over time in the narratives of Reset, which is only really on about um, our conscious evolution and our, you know, ascension, I guess, our spiritual ascension to a better realm. Because I wonder where will we all go when we die? Do you think that's it? Do you think it just goes black and I say, yeah, no more? Hmm? Well, I guess we'll all find out one day. <laughs> anyway, in that a trippy thing that the people like in the realm right now are alive, and all the people who are not here anymore are dead. They're not here anymore. Isn't that weird? But they are in spirit and memory. 
I don't even know what I just said. Don't even matter. It made sense to me anyway. So, <coughs> Philip Clark, good to see you. Love Oklahoma. Would my visit in Oklahoma City one day? Could you have legal marijuana? Alva Billy, Dan, and Brian, and Lee Free. Plus, Texas is not all that far away, is it, from Oklahoma? <coughs> Mandy. Rooney and Bear, what's happening, my bro? Good to see you. Life for real. Uh, are we going to a new reset? No, we've been the reset's been ongoing for a while. There's been edits. There's been all sorts of weirdness going on. Nobody knows what the fuck anymore. Okay? It's been ongoing, and it is not gone through yet. Um, Klaus Schwab told everybody, because he's like involved in it, isn't he? He called his book The Great Reset, after mine, mine was the Great Reset before his. Just letting you know that. Um, <laughs> um, so, yeah, it, it's ongoing and they got all sorts of strangeness. I don't like any of it, really. That's why everyone's like, oh, fuck, we should bug out. It's like, well, yeah, like I tried to do Barbaria. Do you remember that bug out system before we all went to shit in a handbag 2020? But it wasn't so immediate then, was it? Because, like, no one was really listening. And I, I did cover it all in this book. What was coming? <coughs> no, we're not going to get a reset and die and things like that. No, it's not that sort of reset, okay? None of that's going to happen. Agenda 2020 didn't even fucking come to fruition, did it, guys? Because we, Because basically... All of the truther community decoded so much truth that they had to do something about it. And that was make up stuff, close everyone down, and then start over with a weird new paradigm where the where they get people and this like um you know all these different psyops and they act really differently from what they really would have been um had they been left alone to just get on with their lives. It's so fucking weird. Um, it'd be nice if they could all reconsider and it'd be nice if the mainstream could go fuck off. That would be brilliant because they are the worst culprits in the world. In fact, media is the devil. And that is the truth. That is the only devil I see is all the evil that comes through that. It's just... I don't know. It just seems to be so imbalanced. I can't fucking stand it. You've got all of the people who got so much and they couldn't give a shit about anyone else. Okay. And then I see an image on Facebook this morning of a lady like laying in a puddle with a baby. Like fucking just nowhere to live. Like in puddle. Fucking with a baby. I was like, yeah, yeah, okay. So how is that even permissible in, in this day and age? Why do they even allow that to happen in this day and age? Um, it's beyond me disproportionate wealth so it'd be really good if they make all that wealth go to places that need it and, and, and just be all shared out because they got loads of it and they basically print the money they need and they keep terrorizing everyone with taxes but the truth is they print what they need and that's just another control mechanism like shortages yeah with their threatening shortages in america I don't think that bridge going down when they go on a few miles up the road is going to cause any fucking shortages. It's just the fear behind, oh, we might not have enough. The Twinkies might not be in the shop. What the fuck are we going to do? It's all bullshit. It's all agendas. And it's all to get your mind distracted and off on fucking tangents. Because that's all YouTube does. Stick you on a tangent. Anyway. What's that, Dragon? Um, I got the first one tonight. First what, bro? More. I just don't know. So later on, we're gonna have a competition. Okay, we're gonna have a competition where we're gonna vote who's doing the best, right? And this is epic, by the way. Yeah, we're gonna have an epic fail session a bit later after I present some groovy antiquity and stuff. Uh, but we're gonna have competition. We're gonna vote for the best soul train dancer. So I'm going to show some clips of some really funky with some disco music. Okay. So now we all love Soul Train. It's the best thing in the world. Soul Train dancers. And then we're going to best. I'm going to have a book who's best funky dancer. Just for fun. That'll be later on. Um, and I'll see what I can get through. I'm just going to make it a quick post. Not all that well. I'm on antibiotics. I'm fucking like being like, uh, fucking. Don't know, don't know, don't know. So. 
that's me. Break free or die trying. Uh, maybe someone that has six hundred billion dollars could give it a billion. Well, I was wondering, like you know, okay, okay. I can't believe in my. In, I can't believe that um, all of them people that have these sorts of monies uh, could be so detached that they wouldn't do, you know, surreptitiously even do some good in this world. You know, they can't all be just evil on the take, guys. So it must be somebody out there that's on the side of truth, wouldn't you say? I, I, I would think so. I would think so. Just having a lot of money doesn't designate you you're an evil cunt. Some of them are old money, aren't they? They're just born into it. And, you know, they, like I said, out of frame of reference, they don't even know they're cunts. So you're the best around. Nothing's ever going to keep you down. I'm the best around. Mark Lewis, I had a mate in school, I was called Mark Lewis. Um, I'm heard all the major leaguers are sick now. Yeah, there's another narrative as well, isn't it? How about, I thought there was a unanimous decision, yeah, uh, years ago amongst the entire truth of community that that wasn't a fucking thing, okay? That was just a psyop, okay, uh, to do all of this weirdness. I thought we, everyone was agreed with that. I, I, suddenly you get to 2024 20, and it's a thing. No, it wasn't a thing. We ignored it then. I mean, we're ignoring it now. <clears throat> okay, that's just me. I am. I say we as a collective, but we, you know, we did sort of decide that. We will come in here bringing the love during it all. Okay, what are you all saying? Um, hmm. What are the famous flat earth maps, dragon rebirth? Um, well, I like, I got on the wall there, the square and stationary earth, but it's not necessarily a flat earth map. I would say, um, Gleason's, Gleason's, um, as you muffle at the distance, it's a beautiful map. Uh, some like dispute it, you, you're there in some places, but I think it's an absolute marvel. Um, it's like map 76. I wonder what his other maps, Gleason's other maps, were about. I always wondered, because it says in pencil on the bottom, map 76, I think. It is. I got it up on my kitchen wall. So that, that's my probably my favourite flat earth map. You've got loads of old ones from the old school. And you've got the uh, Urbano Monte map, which is an awesome azimuth, but it shows a lot of old stuff, but it looks proper AI generated. And I can't remember, you know, I was the most prolific map searcher of 2015 and before, and it never come across my path. And I definitely searched the Rumsdee Library, which is where it was found by RIP Rob Skiba. <laughs> Richard Branson does, he does. So all these people, let's not address them, okay? Because they, they don't, they're not important. They're not important to anything in this fucking realm, okay? All they do is psyops, isn't it? Let's just like, with, with Branson, it's like, he fucks with the moon, uh, the, Bloom narrative, um, and he makes out he's doing some sort of hotels in space, vomit comets, and uh, I can't buy it. Okay, um, proof, um, evil author Winfrey and Rock are going to Hawaii after the disaster, begging people to donate five pounds. I don't know, they do it in Britain, like it's like they fucking it's so poor in Britain that the birds throw food out of the gutters of people in Britain. Like, yeah, they you go to the ATM machine and it says, Oh, donate money to this wealthy country that's got more money than you, like the Ukraine or something. And it'll happen, like even if there's a disaster, they're like, uh yeah, no, do you want to give us to a charity? You want to give money to a charity. Yeah. And people who asked you for charities, they want to like, they look at you like, oh, you're like, you should, you're doing something wrong. And you say, fuck no. They're like, you know, like, oh, you monster. It's like, well, no, not really. I have done my research and I know all this shit goes down. Remember the Red Cross in Africa? I thought that was too friendly with, with, with the natives, was it? I'm just saying. Um, I watched Night of the Comet the other day. Okay, well, there's supposed to be a comet up there now, but I ain't seen shit. It's been great forever. You heard in Britain. Love you, I'm Karios. Alec Gleason's map, uh, man, he says. Yeah, it's up the kitchen. <laughs> so that's my son, Lawrence Leaker. Um, what is he saying? Um, the leaks can't feel they waved a magnet next to their heads, turning off their feelings. That's interesting. Um, how, excuse me, feelings. How else could they kill the countless people they do um, without any feelings? Um, 
well, maybe they're just narcissists and haven't got emotion and it just doesn't get to them. You know, you see these Hollywood stars and they, they cry over like stupid shit, don't they? Oh, I won an Oscar. Oh, it's the greatest moment of my life. Tears, tears, tears. And it's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's like massive fucking tragedy outside. Family up there is fucking house burnt down and all that. And they'd be like, oh, it's terrible, isn't it? Anyway, I want to show. <laughs> they couldn't give a fuck about any fucking body. Yeah, so they got no emotion and they don't give a shit. They don't do... Don't do anything for anyone. And the charities are all bollocks, aren't they? They're just tax hikes. We all know about foundations and fucking charities. That's all they do it for. Anyway, why do we can wear yours? Much Ely loved you. Um, even Martin FB Chat, Lisa and Paul. I uh, what's happening, Paul? Over there, over by there. And there's Dim Dimples, who is Mary and Jeffrey Griffin, good to see you. Teresa Smuts and here's Squirrel Sniper, the Red Cross. So um, you remember Live Aid when that happened? Well, when I was in the Merchant Navy, just following it, right? And I met this guy. It was uh, basically we were all in um, Seaman's Mission, Stella Maris in Rotterdam. And the crew of the ship, uh, which were, took the stuff uh, out to apparently Ethiopia that was raised through Live Aid money. And he's like, his name was Beefburger, and he was from. Um, Basically, that was what he was called because he was from Hamburg. Um, he said, no, none of that shit got there. He said, we had to drop it off in the Sudan. And he said, and it was all just mafia and criminals and stuff. That was Live Aid. Yeah. And famine existed in films. And I don't know where they got that footage or when that shit happened. But he said, no, that shit wasn't going down. He said, that's what he said. So, you know, but they only need images um, on the telly to make it true, don't they? So what Nixon said. They won't believe anything unless you put it on the telly. <clears throat> I have what? Pain causes n narcissism. It's emotional pain, isn't it? I see, like, when people are being, like, like really ugly towards me. I get quite a bit. I had it today. And I'm thinking to myself, well, what, what happened to you? <laughs> what was so bad? That happened to you? Do you want to be like, because I tell you, I've had a shit time and I never fucking went nasty in turn, guys. I, I never went fucking horrible. I wasn't horrible. But like people just like, you know, because they've had like all of that trauma, they turn it into fucking ugliness with other people. Some people hate women. Some people hate men. Or, or just general people. And what's that? Martin. What's that, Ben? Um, any thoughts on what the um, accurate timelines may be between Justinian plagues and the 1800s? No, not really. It's all, it's all just um, narratives. All of it is just narratives. I can't substantiate anything in this realm, especially from uh, classical um, slash mainstream sources i just don't know i wasn't there it was a long time ago i got no proof of any of this happening in the far autism past none of us have do you know why because we got reset and the world did get destroyed as you know in noah's floods and that's what this guy's job was sabotage sabote zebi okay lived in between 1626 and 1676 uh, so he was a turk he was a rabbi <coughs> and he practiced Kabbalah and mysticism in the Ottoman Empire. As you know, the Ottoman Empire um, was world ruling really for a 600 year period. Um, and he proclaimed himself a messiah. So we're going to cover that. I'll show you some pictures. OK, but he basically um, had a satanic law of reversal written in. OK, and he was teamed up with uh, Jacob Franks, as we know, as uh, predecessor to Adam Weissop, who set up the Illuminati. Anyway, um, yeah, let's get into a bit of that. Let's get into a bit of that. I'll show you a few images. 419 of you turned up. Hi, guys. Welcome to the Martin League channel. Uh, we got some funnies coming up later. Loads of images, loads of shares, lots going on in this post today. I'm going to struggle through what I can because uh, I've been, I've been ill. <clears throat> Okay, so, excuse me. <laughs> Sabote Zevi, okay, he was enthroned. But this image here, I've noticed, is just completely, oh, 
if I could blow it up, Phoenician, isn't it? You got the throne and you got the crown and you got these cherry Benuskis. We've seen this a thousand times with um, the Phoenician narrative, haven't we? But he wasn't the only Antichrist, there's been a few. So, yeah, in 1666, he got imprisoned in the castle of Abydos, tortured and um, told um, that if you, like, basically convert to Islam um, away from um, your religion, because he, fo he followed his father's teachings of the Talmud, he had a six-year-old wife. He sent her away to a finishing school or something until she was 16, but he married her at six. So it's, it's, it's like, it's not very fucking nice, is it? So he converts to Islam, but surreptitiously he keeps his cop on going, okay, of um, this satanic behavior, which is definitely, definitely is. So are they in rule today? I don't know. So former followers of uh, Sabaté um, do penance uh, for their support of him. So basically, he's so fab, he's so wicked. I'm going to flatulate now. I'm going to smack myself around with things uh, to cause myself pain because you are so epic, is what they were doing. Mm. Okay, so that's very cult-like, isn't it? So yeah, he had a cult going on. There he is. And this, you, when I when I uh, covered that, there was very little information. They've, they've spunked it up a little bit uh, since then. So there he is. Um, Zevi claimed to be a long-awaited Jewish messiah and founded the Sabbatia movement. Okay, so that Sabbatia movement there is said to have gone underground. Okay, there he is there. <coughs> Excuse me. So oh, I can take my glasses off. My eyes are getting so bad. So Jacob Franks, who set up the Illuminati, funded Adam Weissop, a Jesuit who managed the satanic political expansion of the world and established the Illuminati in Bavaria in the latter half of the century. Zabi's religion infiltrated Islam Catholicism because, according to him, there was only one doctrine of all one to follow, and that was the doctrine of Satan because he was a member of like the synagogue of Satan, basically. So in February 1666, okay, um, before the Great Fire of London, he arrived in Constantinople. Zevi was imprisoned by the Grand Caliph. After being moved from the prison, okay, he was accused of fermenting sedition and was given the choice of either facing death by the ordeal of some sort, by an ordeal of some sort, <laughs> or converting to Islam. He chose to convert with a generous pension, so they basically, for his compliance, so they basically paid him off, but he fucked them. Bear in mind, these people don't care which religion they follow. So he may have converted, but he still followed his old religion and his old cause. Let me repeat, the cause they followed was Satanism. This orgiastic, ritualistic, sacrificial, and basically the whole works of evil. The movement went underground, and from there, they infiltrated the whole of society, okay, a bit like cultural Marxism, um, about and brought about the evil works of today. So let me just, oh, excuse me. So he was associated with that building. Um, excuse me. Okay. So the uh, Sabbatean movement, said to be around today, the Sabbatean Messianic movement was a religion associated with Zevi. In fact, he was thought to be the Antichrist. He came along on a winter solstice, basically December the 21st, 1665. And when he was old enough, to know better, he declared himself Messiah. Apparently, millions of people followed him. And the notorious assassins, okay, the named after Hashish, the assassins worked for him. One of the most well known men was Jacob Franks, who set up the Illuminati in Bavaria. So, this is like the forefather of all of that, even before Loyola and the Jesuits was uh, Zapote. So, I think they're all following this cult and uh, part of it. Uh, what I've been trying to find out is how much of this, how, uh, excuse me, how much truth there is of all of this. Uh, you know, is it a Jesuit psyop? Uh, did this man really have millions of followers? And was he really the Antichrist figure in the satanic religion of reversal? Mm. 
So apparently they went underground and they're still around today. So there's been many contenders for the Antichrist, though. But Zabate, it could be, you know, they could be doing that. That could be around. That could be happening today easily. So Antichrist, interesting. Um, it doesn't actually show up as the phrase really in the Bible. But there is some interesting bits in this. So the Christian eschatology, the, the Antichrist refers to people prophesied by the Bible to oppose Jesus Christ and substitute themselves as saviors in Christ's place, place before the second coming. OK, so second coming um, during a reset, I definitely think there's something along the lines of an escalation in Krishna consciousness, Christ consciousness, where people exhibit like Christ qualities in this uh, spiritual battle that is ongoing. That's what I think. Anyway, um, it's found in four times in the New, in the, um, New Testament. Okay, the the phrase and uh, solemnly in the first and second of John. Okay, the Antichrist is announced as the one who denies the Father and the Son. Okay. A similar term, okay, pseudo Christos or fake Christ, is also to be found in the Gospels. There in Matthew and there in Mark, Jesus alerts his disciples not to be deceived by the false prophets, whispering in your ear, who will claim themselves to be Christ, performing great signs and wonders. Three other images often associated with the Antichrist are a little horn, and that's in Daniel's vision, and the man of sin. OK, I find it interesting that they refer to it as, you know, in the book of Revelation, beast from the sea, from the sea. Hmm. OK, but in the etymology, uh, interesting that it says here, OK, um, not only is the Antichrist in the sense of against or opposed of, but also in place of. In place of, as a replacement to the Christ consciousness, almost as if um, they're saying that evil prevails in some of these resets. So there's an Antichrist there, King Herod of Landsberg. Around 1180, um, 12th century Antichrist, he was proclaimed. Turns out he's a king and he's a ginger and he has a red cape on, no shit. The devil whispers to the Antichrist. The devil whispers to the Antichrist. So this character here is the Antichrist. Details from the sermons and deeds of the Antichrist. I, uh, uh, yeah, excuse me, a Renaissance picture painting of 1501. But again, with the red cape going on and whispering sweet nothings in his ear. So there's been a few contenders. Nero was thought to be the Antichrist. Uh, maybe you can enlighten me with some um, contenders for the Jesus Christ role. Me, I think I mean, not John Wick, not Neo. OK, because as we all know, Keanu Reeves is completely fucking nuts. So we won't be going down that road. <laughs> so I've got that map. And this is a guy here as well, the Catalan Atlas. I've got this. I presented this. Remember, guys? Um, it reads, um, Antichrist. He will be raised in Angorium or Galilee. At the age of 30, he will start to preach in Jerusalem, the Antichrist. Um, he will be, excuse me, proclaim that he is Christ, the living son of God, and it is said that he will rebuild the temple. Oh dear. And that is in 1375. Um, I'll say no more. Two sides to the same coin. Well, there's three sides to a coin. You don't have to be one of them or the other. All you've got to do is think of yeah. Elevating your own consciousness, because that's what's happening here. Yeah. It takes a lot of work, because there's a lot of distraction in the world and bullshit in the world. Trickery, as you all know. So there's a woodcut showing the Antichrist in 1498. Uh, which one? The 
this character or this character? <laughs> narratives, repeated narratives, um, every single reset. This uh, narrative of um, that you get, which is not actually in the Bible, is it really? Of Satan and the battle of Satan and Jesus thing going on. Except for when he tempts him in the desert, doesn't he? 40 days and 40 nights. You know, you can have all this stuff. Martin Luther, commissioned by Martin Luther. So Martin Luther King, I think about him sometimes. He said in his, in his I have a dream speech, which is, you know, a great moment for humanity, but it gives you a little buzz when you do hear it. Um, curiously, he was named after Martin Luther, I thought. And not only that, he stated in that speech that he'd been to the top of the mountain, the mountain that Jesus was on. And I seen it all. So what is exactly is he saying there? Hmm. Uh, the Passional Christ and Antichrist here in the woodcut, 1521. Um, okay. So I guess in the royal one here on the throne is uh, the Antichrist and it's all about uh, the money, energy of money. And um, oh, that is absolutely stunning. Uh, an image from the uh, Fallen Aim made in India around 1610 depicts Jesus fighting uh, the Jizai, the false prophet, uh, behind the Mahadi with the veiled face. So even in Krishna consciousness or in India, uh, the narrative for uh, Jesus fighting the devil is there, even in that. <laughs> but some say that Jesus went to Kashmir, didn't they? And he was Krishna in the missing years. So I think there might be something in that. Um, oh, dear. 20th of December, 1939. Uh, the white minaret and the six-pointed star. So... I don't know what connotation that has to the Antichrist. I'm missing that. And the icon for Christianity. It's all very sinister. And I, don't, I can't see the need for any of it. People should just empower themselves. They're the only people that can save people is people. <laughs> the only ones. We can support one another and give one another like helpful advice, maybe. That's not right. Anyway, let me see if I'm, we're going to look at some images. I'm going to go on with some funny stuff. As I said, today is going to be a quicker post. Um, I'm, on, I'm on a road to recovery here. I'm try, trying to do more my thing. That makes sense. Okay, let me just check my, I'm actually on YouTube. Yeah, fairly sinister indeed. Some being good. Sinister as fuck. So, yeah, you, you can check that out in my book about uh, Sabatier Sevi. Do I think that, you know, they set up all these organizations? I think there's a lot of truth in it because of the amount of covering up in it. Okay, on to a new subject. I'll, looking at the old world images, these have been colorized 18, late 1800s of Potsdam in Germany. Um, interesting city, haven't been there, but um, notably from where the big four in World War II, met for one of their conventions. It was in one in Yalta, one in Postum. And this city is like Dresden for for um, beautifulness. This, as you can see, it's just wow. I like to think these columns are some sort of tech that you get, like in St. Peter's Square in Rome, and they're a bit like well, I've seen pillars vibrating, resonating. They're resonating pillars out of the Sugarboard City. So, oh, that's nice. Look at that for a domage. So, I'm back up on that beautiful green, copper green dome. You've got the garlands, the Phoenician type garlands, and a crown on top, big crown, giant's crown, and a load of statues. So, yeah, got heavily bombed in World War II, but not completely destroyed. Excuse me, I've just been drinking Coca Cola. I think it'd be beer. Yeah, uh, so that's inside some of these places. It's absolutely stunning stuff. Oh, look at that fireplace. So, uh, yeah, would you stick a mirror over a fireplace with all that raging heat? Doesn't really make any sense to me. Surely the mirror would crack, wouldn't it? With a fire underneath it. Oh, I don't know. What about the masterworks next to the fireplace? Because they definitely 
blow back smoke. There's no doubt about it. Key. Ooh, that's beautiful, isn't it? Ah, can't wait for summer. A little taste of spring today. Little taste. Wow, look at this. Got to check up our floor. I bet that's cold, that floor. I like the blue going on, but I'm not, not so sure about that. Nah. Now, a nice Phoenician fountain thing, which is inactive, and that looks like the exactly like the dome of St. Paul's Cathedral. In fact, I can't even tell her apart. It looks exactly the same as the dome of St. Paul's Cathedral. Huh. So I hope you all been having an okay week. I know things are weird for everyone right now when we don't know, like feeling weird, edgy, and just just not knowing. And it just feels weird. But I'd stick with it. I, I think I just think fuck it anyway. You know, we're all a long time dead, guys. It's not even quite worrying about fucking things. Anyway, that's what I think. I think we should just look out for ourselves, our families, help your friends, and just be kind. See how that goes. There's not enough of that in the world right now. Oh, yeah. It's like some polls. <sighs> Oh, I'm not going to be disappointed, infinitely disappointed. I always knew things were like, even when I was a kid, that there was bad, bad in the world. And people have done terrible things. And and that is true. They have done terrible things in this realm, guys. World War II and it's just, it's unimaginable. Unimaginable what they did to humanity. Look what they did 120 years ago. They sent almost a million men died in Britain, guys in the First World War, things like the Battle of the Somme, things like that. It's just, it was industrial murder is what was going on in these wars. And the missing, what happened to the missing? I don't think they're in bits in the fields. I think they're just gone. I think they're just, they're just gone. I don't know. Maybe God just spares them and just pulls their souls out of you. The bodies just don't feel a thing. A bit like when an animal gets killed. I don't think that animal's feeling anything. I think I think it's God just going to zap that soul out and the thing don't feel no pain. Yeah, I think that's going on. That's pretty. I'd like to have a little paddle in that water, but probably get kicked out. So, yeah, Postum in Germany has got, like, antiquitech going on. Check that, though. Got the seashells. I bet there was a wicked fountain in there at some stage. And let's have a look at these. Woohoo! Very antiquitechy, isn't it? Then with a the big crown, the corona, and all of the tech. So yeah. Bloody beautiful. So it's surprising how much of Germany survived World War II. I've been to loads of cities that don't even look like anything happened. Although Emden I went to got completely destroyed. They built it up pretty old again. Um, place I went, Neustadt. Um, and I was, I think it's in East Germany. No no bombs landed on that place. I can fucking guarantee you they had Asian buildings. They had one, one building with roof made of sticks. I thought, oh yeah, that happened. I haven't uh, got bombed. What's that? Loot from Peking. You can't admit that. Um, ancient Chinese astronomical globe in the court of uh, a ranger in Postum. Okay. So it's a celestial sphere. Hmm. So, yeah, I wonder if the moon does turn up. Because, like, 2017, I, we went through all this, didn't we, with really the last one. And... Um, I, w I was live with, I think, Thrive and Survive, Rich, don't know if you know him, uh, Nathan Oakley was there, and we were just, he was filming it all while I was live in my garden, when I was living down my mother's, and um, no fucking sun, uh, no moon turned up, it's like, where's the moon? And then you've got everyone, like, going, what the fuck, where's the moon? And then it's just like, the shutter thing, like a movie projector being reset, and then on with the show, so it could be that. It could be just a movie projector projecting this reality. The fashe sun projecting our reality. Oh, look, faceless night. And an Artitrion. The Brandenburg Gate in Boston. They've got a Brandenburg as well as a Berlin there. 
but they got no quadriga on their one it looks a bit new as well on top <clears throat> and that thing looks too much like st paul's cathedral i thought it's christopher rang basically built st paul's but that's an identical model to st paul's that's weird in itself <clears throat> kind, of, kind of been original an original i don't know but I did cover Sir Christopher Wren. He's on the next page of this book. I could have talked to you about him. It's Christopher Wren and the link with Zevi is what I was talking about. And the fire and the building of St. Paul's Cathedral. But that's out of context right now. Let's move on. <laughs> Frederick William V. Um, fourth. So they don't have anyone who's like... They, statues are stupid, right? Yeah, they do stupid people with statues. In um, they said that they're going to put a statue up in Cowbridge in, in South Wales of H from Steps. You know H from Steps. All right, we like H from Steps, but fucking hell, I don't think he's statue worthy. Is he H from Steps? What? I don't know. Look at all these Phoenicians holding the building up. Just why would you go to all that effort? But it is a palace. And that's the columns, some of these columns, obelisk going on. Very wide gate, considering cats, horse and cats are not that big. But these cities were designed for bigger people. Imagine, I bet in one reset when we weren't around, they would have been much larger people because a lot of these buildings are just designed for bigger people. Look at the size of these doors, this gate here. This gate here, and look at the size of the people to the doors, guys. It's like this thing is just for bigger people. Really, it is. Why make the gateways that big and the portals that big? Look at that. Arch of columns in Postem. Let's have a look. Whoa, that's pretty groovy. Again with the faceless knight there, there. Bet you've got a couple of fashies in there somewhere. Find them. This uh, chevron, chevron. This is a, a Masonic thing, definitely. Masonic connection with that. And the Beatles. So, yeah, we got a lot of images later coming up, guys. Stick around. We're going to have a, a little vote and a little bit of fun in a minute. And we'll come back for a second. Set that all up. We're going to have a little vote. And I wonder what that is. Something else astronomical. It just can't be a sun dial. Ooh, what is that then? Um, anybody? Could you tell anybody got any suggestions? Well, that one is a celestial sphere. I think I can see a sundial over there. I wonder what that one is. Hmm. Do you reckon, guys? Any suggestions? What do you think? Angel arches, big magnet gateway. Oh, they're all magnets. They're horseshoe magnets, aren't they? <coughs> okay, we're moving on. That's the orangery. Okay. It's a big thing with the orange as well, isn't it? You know, J uh, William of Orange and the orange match and orange full stop, color 33. Jamacha, stop sharing. Okay. Now, next, 499 of you watching. Awesome. Uh, welcome to Flat Earth British on sunday sunday somewhere in 2024 so oi oi paul what's happening mate who me perfectly imperfect uh ooh. yes i've got shit on that but we're not going to worry about that we're going to just be epic i got the silver jeffries in the house i lady love orange 33 that's why you get an orange juice on uh, Breakfast in America cover and behind it, the towers. Yeah. Bugman. What quite? Wolf. Wolf. Ow. And Magabelli. Okay. And Hippie Shakes in the house. Hulk and Colossus. Okay. Right. We're going to have a little, um, get well, Irby. Yeah. Fucking hell. That's what our saviour is, antibiotics. I haven't had it. I haven't been to the doctor since like 2017, apparently. Uh, um, so it's the first time I went there and I didn't like going, but I did. And um, 
yes, I was proper ill and I'd left it go for fucking too long and I was just fucked up. Otto, I thought about you earlier. I know, I couldn't go. I mean, as fuck, bruv. I've got loads of problems going on at the moment. I don't know which way it's fucking going on. Uh, catch you next time, Rob. Yeah, definitely, bro. Love you, bro. Thought about you earlier when I was looking at the Ottoman Empire. I thought, oh, Otto, Ottoman Empire. So I thought, you see, see what I did there? Much love, brother. Uh, Mama Wolf Memories, good to see you. 16, well, go on. Um, really, the more you think about it, I feel that merchants and the advertising and the marketing people are the real antichrist. Listen, marketing is a doozy. You're right on all of that. Yeah, they're evil what they do. Fuck yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As well as media. Media is a definite. Media is the worst thing. Um, here now, good to see you. And Mighty Adam. And Song Hero, our past is highly amazing, highly amazing. We're going to look at some of our past. We're going to have a little reminisce later on, a little think about different aspects of life. We'll learn something together here today. Thank you, Rotten, my bro. And, ooh, my young. Okay, and it's my son. Uh, food gangsters killing us with chemicals and additives. Man, we watched it earlier. What a fucking expose that was. Way worth uh, talking about in the future vlog. Fuck me. They are so fucking dodgy. So dodgy. Just as bad as Hollywood and all the rest. So dangerous. So, but there's like trillions involved in people's diet. The food. The food is... food. Keep the food and the drug supply going and all will go okay. Yeah. But America, you know, they want people fucked and fat, don't they? Because, you know, especially in America, I don't know, it's not as bad you with it, but they got this, you know, the, the medical system isn't it? It's, it's a big fucking thing. It's a big deal there. It's all about that, isn't it? So that's when they're making money, isn't it? On illness, uh, medications and stuff. So I want to keep that going. Get them, get that fucking KFC, don't you? Born, born, born to be alive. Good, good chat. Good uh, name. Good song as well. Born to be alive. Who was that? Was it Warren Zion? Born to, no, it wasn't. Born to be alive. Oh, oh. oh, that don't play over and over in my head. No, that'd be your fucking fault. My Pat, Ben, Titch. Good to see you, bro. That used to be my mother's nickname when she was in school, Titchy Tender. Um, light at the dark on the satanic demon ritual agendas, imprisoning the human race, and we are the light in the dark. So, yeah, but when you've got a dark room, yeah, if you just light a candle or a torch, or pew, the darkness disappears. So that's what we got to do, guys. Ow! we got to make that darkness disappear. So it's, it's hard. We've got, we got a battle ahead. But um, like I said, we made a difference. You know, the, what, the things that have been happening, don't think for a second that the impact of the truth of community hasn't been changing the realm and changing the paradigm. Guys, it fucking has. It has. It has. We... As a collective, the truth of community, we have changed the world. Yeah, we forced their hand. Yeah, and we called their bluff, and they had to fucking fold. And now all of this weirdness. What are we gonna do now? The jigs are no fucking shit. That's what's happened, guys. No shit. So let's have a bit of fun. Okay, we're gonna. Yeah, they're not. Don't worry about all that anyway. Fucking hell. That's a fear thing as well. See, the thing is, they probably are, they're probably not. I don't even know because, like, I can't remember them as a kid. But as the same token, there's a fear attached, isn't it? There's something that'll go wrong. If you breathe. <coughs> they breathe it as well. So well, the elites, the elites are going to poison themselves as well. I don't. I just instinctively feel that that might be just another one of fear fucking thing. It's all narratives, guys. It's all narratives. What's real? Your room. You. Now. That's all. The rest, don't even worry about it. Eric, do I think there's anything nefarious happening? No. I probably don't think there is. I think it's anything to attach to fear is a soil. Be afraid. Be very fucking afraid. That's what they want. And they want you scared and on the negative energy so they can feed off you. Like the blood-sucking vampires, they fucking are. Energy vampires, they leave you weak in the knees. They leave you trembling and leave you scared. They leave you on the verge of a nervous fucking breakdown. I should know. 
all on bullshit. Yeah, yeah, never fear song hero. Um, but you know, there's a lot of fear mongers, aren't there? There are a lot of people just learn, you know, especially on YouTube. YouTube's a fucking fear piece. It's like all the fucking sissies. It fucking does my head in. It's like shut the fuck up. Don't fucking grow up here. We're gonna lie. Uh, consciousness is the psyop. <laughs> no, I, I definitely think that we are consciousness. I don't think that mental processes are just like, you know, a standard what the science says about like the mind and how it perceives reality. I, I definitely think because I've had too much experience in this life, you know, especially with psychicness, um, to be thinking of a person and they go ping and turn up, um, you know, all of them psychic things that happen. I think that's what proves consciousness and thinking about things and then they turn up. Um, dreaming about somebody and seeing them the very next day and I haven't seen them for years. All of them, what you could call supernatural experience, I think that it just proves consciousness. I, I think that it proves that it's a consciousness web, a soup that we're all in. And I really do feel that. That's my experience, though. Yeah, you know, you obviously can think what you want. Just saying. Um, you're not allowed to think. Yeah, thinking is bad. Yeah, stop thinking. Any D? <laughs> okay, let's have a little giggle and not, not take life too seriously because, you know, it's all bullshit. Um, yes, they, mm, I don't know. Uh, anyway, let's move on. 473, right, we're going to be looking at, um, excuse me, excuse me. Okay, we're going to look at some epic fails, okay, and then we're going to have a bit of music and we're going to have a first, we're going to have a look at some epic fails and then we're going to have a vote who we think is the best okay let me put my image on it the best soul train dancer okay and i want i want to see some wiggly flat thumbs if you think they're the best okay there's 12 contestants and the winners will be flat of british best soul train winners obviously okay okay images of the day um some fails of the week these are some of the stupidest people in reality they can't help it okay gotta love them so let's see that again. What happens? He's, he's trying to get the bonfire going. And he's tipped it all the way over there and he's fucking ignited himself. I've been on fire a few times, guys. More than you'd even imagine. No, I have. I've been on fire quite a bit. No, I want to talk about this a little later in the post. I want to talk about um, this woman here. Woman, I'll say that in the loosest terms right now, um, is Sharon Tate. Now, we know that Sharon Tate um, was possibly murdered or not murdered by um, the cult members of the family associated with um, Charles Manson. OK, so she's a victim of Charles Manson. OK, but she was getting Kung Fu lessons off of Bruce Lee. Be like what? Yeah. So we'll have a look at a couple of images of her later with a weird as fuck husband, Roman Polanski. Like, he's not a devil worshipper. Rosemary's baby. Um, I hope you're not looking at her bum. No, that's that's not good. Don't do that. She might be a boy. Then you'd be sorry. Look at this. He's like expert. This is chi, how to harness chi energy. Yeah? Give up fast foods first. But nice roll. I'll give him that. And he's got a green screen going on. Fucking hell, he's hard. He's going to snap that baton up. It's like baton, three by two, and he can't fucking snap it. <laughs> this happens all the time to me, only the other way around. When I'm walking away, the world blows up behind me. It's brilliant, it is. I miss it all. I loved her. Buster Keaton. So, sorry the image is not bigger, but what we got going on here is a mud slide. And a nice house falling into the sea, caught on film. Which happened to a famous hotel outside of San Francisco. That's on film too. So this little kid, he's going to take his... He's gone. I wonder if you've ever, you ever seen him again. That happens. I got soaked a couple of times last year. The waves just... Oh, it's just bad. It's... Will you marry me? Yeah, okay. Oh, brilliant. No, they're dead. Well, it's the fault that counts, isn't it? What a fucking stupid guy to take it right to the end and then propose. 
better than proposing in a Burger King, I guess. Ah, the waves, the waves, they're beautiful, aren't they? Can't wait for it to get warm. Come on, this is this going to be me when I see the sea next. Woohoo! Except I won't be showing my ass. So this is what happens when you eat loads and your trousers are hanging off your ass like an like a wrapper. Okay, ready for ready for the bumminings, bumminings. Okay, he's not too cool, there, is he? So yeah, I had a shock. Look at this silly cow. Yeah, yeah, that's right. That's what happens when I have too many new girls. Yeah, get me out, get me out. No, stay down there, stay down there. I can't get fucking out. Let's watch that again. Yeah. Oh, fuck, what am I going to do now? I sit down the hall. It's not racist, guys. I can do impersonations. They do it on phone, Jack, and he doesn't get accused of being a racist, does he? Yeah. And I, and I talk like that to Chinese people anyway. So I put on a Chinese accent, <laughs> like... Oh, that was brilliant. She nearly snapped the neck. No, she never. She never snapped her neck. She come off well. Okay, let's have a look. Flick flax. And then back and land. No, oh, that's not. Oh, fucking hell. She kicked herself in the face like what dwarves do. It's not actually funny. But it's weird how the human body can turn so. Oof. Oh, fucking hell. Okay. Uh, this guy, he jumps off the Eiffel Tower in the uh, 1800s. But see these bits in the back? They all got taken out in a fire. But you can see me on a bit of film, this antiquity stuff. Right, let's see how it goes. We Dead. No. Yes. The thing that is, his wingsuit's got a lot to be desired, guys, hasn't it? Okay. So this was on the first Monday. Off of the Eiffel Tower. We Eep. I think he lived. The spanner. Okay. He fucking deserves that. Oh, look. Oh, I can just miss that hole. No, you can't. It's really stupid. It's like, how can you even miss that? Fucking hell. Lack of effort, not paying attention. No, this is the most... This reminds me, actually, of... Yeah, it's... it's, it's the Valium have kicked in, look. Oh, I'm going to take a nice picture. Why is it blinding me? It's totally vacant, look. Early stages of dementia. Shh. Don't tell the family. It's going to get bad. Okay. Mm. Uh, it's got a lot to be desired, that, hasn't it? Okay, the hat's in the right place. Now, are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready for a brand new paradigm? Okay, so what we're going to have here, 300 dudes smoking pipes inside you, Okay, what we're going to do now is we're going to have some disco music. I'm going to vote. I'm going to keep an eye on chat. It's there because I forgot to put my computer up. So I'm going to... Okay, so I have a little bit of disco music, copyright, free. They lie about all sorts of stuff. Okay. What's going on here? Oh, excuse me. What the fuck? Where's it gone? There. Excuse me. Okay. Okay, right. Let's have a look at some soul train dancers. Right, I got no music. Fucking hell. Okay, guys, stick with it because this vote's gonna we're gonna do this properly, okay? As a collective, we're gonna get down to the absolute truth about this matter. Who is the best soul trade dancer? Let me just stop sharing because apparently I haven't shown my shared my volume. Let's go and share screen again. 476 to you. Enjoy this next bit. It's gonna get a bit weird, but it doesn't matter. Okay. Share volume. It says Okay. Uh, 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 uh. Excuse me. Okay. Baby. Excuse me. Okay. An error has occurred. Okay. 
Oh, precise science YouTube, guys. Okay. We got any music? Oh, we haven't, have we? Should have. Old school, Shelly. We're going to look at some old school pictures in a minute. Oh, Ebony. Soul Train um, is, is like the best thing outside of food. A Soul Train is like American bandstand, but they didn't really have it in Britain. And they, we didn't have anything like that. We had um, Top of the Pops, which was awesome. I read one of the best moments of my childhood was probably when Hans people went on Blue Peter in their knickers. I thought that was like weird. It was like, that's weird. And then they talked about being topless and stuff. And then they did a dance to Mike Oldfield's Blue Peter. You'd have to check it out for yourself. Totally pervy. No wonder British people are so weird. Um, I had angel flight disco threads. See, I'm, I'm trying to share um, with the volume. It's just acting weird. It might be just me, though. Okay, that'll do. So, this bit's getting a bit confusing. Don't worry, because this is important. Okay. Back down to the... Yeah, they're excellent clothes in the movies. The plays are awesome. I can't find it. not like that. Any music? Oh, it's a little bit. Okay. Right, let's have a look at these, right? Now, I want to vote, guys. I'm going to see them all. No, they practice forever, don't they? In the third game, that's not it. That's me, though. I'll have a vote this stuff. And uh, tell me what you think. Okay, I'm gonna give. We're gonna vote one out of ten, guys. Okay, like they do in ice skating. Okay, um, I'm gonna give this um, all effort and creativity six out of ten. Okay, okay, ooh, 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 hang on. Yeah, he's got the moves. What about really good? Yeah, not much. Not, it's not very animated. So again, I'm going to give them a stick. Okay, I don't know about you. Okay, that's a stick for me. The, the, you know, for creating content and... Okay. Whoa. Now we're talking. Synchronized move. He's good, but I'm not... You know, he's not as good. I think there's a lack of effort. So I'm going to give that a seven, seven, four, actually, many, seven. Uh, I give it a seven as well, man. So seven for them. So these are in the uh, lead right now. She wins. She's got the fiction move. I like that one. I've seen a lot of them. Yeah, I'm giving that an eight. I'm giving that one an eight. Oh, three, five, Manny. Okay, let's see what else we get. I like that. Oh, she's cool. Uh, look, oh, Mr. Smith and Mr. Smith. Yeah. Yeah, check my friend. Check my friend. Yeah. Ooh, ooh. And he's a little spin. See, I, I don't think he's using the sticker rep and clothes as a dance. All right, nice spin. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 He's good though. I'm gonna give them a um, positive four. Oh, this is Marianne. Uh, six. I'm gonna give them. I'm gonna give them a seven. Oh, fucking hell, yes. Look at these moves. 
and she's like, no, I'm waking up with the next person. Okay, I'm feeling these. And I'm going to give these um, an eight. I'm going to give these an eight. And I know how this develops. I guess it's good. Four. I for sure. Four. Three. A ten on Magic Note. There we got some tens. We got some slipses. I think this one's going to be in the eight. What about these? Wow! Oh, yeah! Oh, wow! Yeah! Get down! Get down! Ooh, ooh. What did he do? I'm so mad here. <laughs> okay, that's just scaring me. I'm going to give them a five or a four because she's not making any fucking effort. He is hogging. He is hogging the dad. So, anyway, it's me. It's all about me. me. So that's token as well. Oh, thank you. I'll give them a five. He has got me. Oh, my God. Oh my god, these might be winning. This is a definite oh my god. He's awesome, but he's just going to be back. Guys. Ah, fuck! Don't even try it! Oh. I can wrestle my neck then. One comb with three. Okay, one. Twenty, we're not doing it. Twenty. Uh, you can Okay, she made an effort, but I'm going to give them a... I'm going to give them a healthy 7. 7.5. Oh, yeah! Got the same clothes. Got the same trousers. Got the same hat. She's a girl. I like them. I like them. They're, they're fluffy and they lift a lot, like they like. They're going to wait. So I'm going to give them a 10 as well, Hippie Shay. They're my, they're my favourite so far. Yeah, they're all right, and they're, they're actually time. Okay, it's a bit of a shit. Okay, we got a okay, good problem. Get on the track. See that again. Okay, for creative quality, they got it together, they did rehearse that um, a lot of times, but I don't think they pulled it off in that thing. But yeah, yeah, um, I give them a seven. Right. See this woman? She had it all going down before Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson with his fucking gloves, his white gloves and all that dances. Yeah, they go down. Um, Good train. Oh, Michael Jackson is even better. He's rocking off. Um, I like them, I'm going to give them an 8. My, my favourite so far, basically, so ahead of the time. Uh, what do you think of this one, uh, on, on Hero? Uh, 3, 7, I give you a 7, that's fucking sterling leg time to it. And the last thing is the star. Oh, she's got me. Catch it, catch it, So, who in reality, Dave Waffles, help me? Who in reality, dances like that? And who wears pantaloons in this country? Are you who? I'm not. Anyway, onwards. I know that, you guys. You'll get over it. Right, let's look at some more pictures, chop it up a bit. Next, we're going to look at some alchemical images, and then we're going to go into some f- funny stuff, and then there's more interesting images of the day. We have a lot to show you, more antiquity, because we like to chop and change. And now for something completely different. And we're going to MC Hammer. Can't touch his thing. So, um, yeah, we, we got our winner, didn't we? They were all good. They were all winners. Okay. Soul Train people are all winners. Okay. Uh. Can't touch his thing. So, yeah, statues again. Um, do you think there's anything inside them, please? I always wondered because there's like a big box inside. There's one in like Trafalgar Square as well. There's like a big box with so and I always wondered, it's like what if there's a big bomb in there? And you just blow us up. They're in the center of every city. I've just said I'm just throwing that out there. I'm not saying there are bombs in statues, but just saying I did wonder myself when I was a kid. So look at this. 
there was the rumor about that with uh, some of this urban art they spend a fortune about one day and it's just like weird tubular things in a figure eight and just stuff that makes no fucking sense in urban art <coughs> and um somebody put up there years ago that they were weaponized so turin um the only thing i know about turin is it's football tea and i know of the film the italian job where um, some British gangsters in Mini Coopers go to rob the Italian mafia of a load of gold and all this shit goes down in Turin. That's all I know about it. But I know it's a big place. And I know they had an amazing transportation system which got fucked up by a computer and Benny Hill. You'd have to watch the film. Okay, let's have a look. Do, 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 do. Look at the size of that. We've looked at this before loads of times, haven't we? Massive domage. Can't touch this. Can't touch what? Can't touch this. Because I got, I got flady trousers. Gold, gold lame trousers. That looks like a castle, doesn't it? A bit of antique tech going on. And some old world people. God, what were they like? Try and work out the mindset of the people. They never had the internet. What did they do before radio? What did they do? They read books or looked at pictures, ate. They're probably more just concerned on survival matters. They all seem very well turned out, don't they, the Italians? And up to that place on the top of the hill up there, cathedral. Choo choo. Said the train driver. So more statues. See another big box under that one too. That's uh Vitro Emmanuel the second. What's that? Name of a porn film. Kako Sakad. Ooh. Don't, don't like the sound of that product. Kako. Could be they're not selling cocoa, are they? I don't think they'd advertise that on the side of a bus in Italy in the 1800s. So the uh, royal whatever. Let's have a look at that. Oh, she looks like Queen Victoria. They're all dressed in black because everyone's mourning, aren't they? Good morning. Morning. Looking forward to the war. Yeah. It's going to be glorious. The glory of war. Everyone getting blown up, except for the generals because they're miles behind enemy lines and it wouldn't be good for them to get killed, especially in the in the gentlemen's club back in Piccadilly. They'd be ostracised or thrown out of the club, even for dying. So, yeah, they had a lot of gentlemen's clubs in the past, didn't they? And they got, like, planning and secretive and doing stuff. Oh, a nice little bunko booth. Secret organizations, they shouldn't be allowed. In fact, secrets shouldn't be allowed. Why they even got the official secrets act or any of it? It's just, why? What, what are they hiding from us? Can you tell us? It's for your own protection. Well, we'll be the judge of that. So there's another person. Yes, I went and killed people bravely in battle. I was too brave to spare the women and children. Right. So, look. Oh, I know the Phoenicians coming out of the water again. And an angel with a quill in its hand. Going to write you a new narrative. Did I mention with uh, Zabatai Zevi, his actual job was a um, rewriter of history? I think I never mentioned that. Maybe I should have. Oh, look at them domes. That's an unusual church. Might be a synagogue, actually. Uh, 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 uh. Let's have a look. Um, yes. Yes, that is. Very Moorish looking. Or, well, Asian. Okay. Turing Gallery of the Industrial or something or other. Showing, I don't know, maybe shops. So Turin is in northern Italy, I believe. That looks exactly like the Pantheon in Rome, which is a 
got concrete roof and an oculus and is one of the miracles of the ancient world because he's supposed to be 2000 year old and he's still there whatever she is the only person left in the world in fact that's her house it's a nice humble little retreat look at the size of the dome on that though guys you've seen this before what it looks like inside looking up wow and you got them two tiers there like uh little palisades landing platforms for balloons and a big fuck off antenna really Ooh, i wonder what they do wow that's super interesting the size of that though wow i bet that goes really high Super smashing great, and look what you would have won. So there's Turin in Italy for some antiquitechy mud flood images. We'll look at some more later. So um, this is um, Philosophia Reforma, alchemical images. I'm going to go to them a bit later because I fancy having a giggle instead because it's my post. And I'm not hanging around for ages. So these are Python-esque, you know, like Monty Python images. And they are chosen by myself and some have been shown on monty python so what's going on here is spiteful little child he's going let's do it the other way around he's going go home you and she goes la 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 i have home you cheeky little bastard and pushes him off so shit goes round, and he's ginger they say the uh, timogen of uh, genghis khan was ginger with blue eyes as well um, also the prophet um, that is worshipping Islam also was ginger so this is the earliest known um, image of Keith Richards from 1140 um, he was a lot younger then so you've only got to learn is he's the marker for us if Keith Richards goes we all go okay I fancy something to eat a barbecue okay I've just lit up the entire world this is um why you should basically take care when doing barbecues and being drunk in the dry wilderness would you tell somebody you did it or would you run away well i would hope that you would go to the authorities and tell them that you caused the forest fire even if hundreds of people have been killed it's seemed the right thing to do instead of just running away and nobody knows it's a bit like hit and run oh my window it's about time the lovely and clean do you know how many birds, it's not funny, Dan, but do you know how many birds get killed every year hitting skyscraper windows? Hundreds of thousands of birds get twatted hitting skyscraper windows. Not good, is it? Dirty, leave them dirty. <laughs> so Jesus didn't walk around. He, when he went out to India, he went on a plane or on a bird in this, in this instance. Yeah, I think that happened. That could be reality. So let's have a look what you've got under. Oi, get off! No, let's have a look. You got? Have you got a penis? Now get off! That happens in antiquity. They're all perverts, as you can see. Here is the high command of the British Army. In their little pink tutus and fluffy underwear. Oh, you can feel the breeze. It's really nice. British High Command. So watch what happens on this machine when I press the button. You phase in and out of reality. You discompopulate. And you just went to another multiverse and you're back in this verse. Are you the same one? Probably not. Your head's too small. Your head's too big. You're fuzzy. <laughs> Russian scientists. Can't trust them. Oh, happy, not happy, not happy, not happy, not happy, not happy, not. It's a long way to Tipperary. Okay, this is a uh, good advice. Okay, always like children at arm's length on firework night by Scarborough Council, Safety Council. Good advice, especially at bonfire night. Oh Lord, how have you forsaken me? I've walked all the way up this fucking mountain and you gave me two Twinkies. Can I have the commandments? The reality is, guys, that Moses never really had any commandments. Okay, thou shalt not kill. Yeah, the real thing was, is he 
was given Twinkies, big Twinkies, to bring back to humanity because they were sad and they needed cake. And they got back and they were all worshipping a cow because they had no Twinkies. No, oh, I like Twinkies. We can see. Oh, there's a naked one. Is that a subliminal? Did you see that? Yeah. Oh, look at that. Yeah, you've got to be quick to see it. Woo! I think AI would even miss that one. Yeah, yeah. Ha, ha, we got away with it. The hills are alive with the <laughs> squish. The sound of no music. Mary, what's her name? Denied. I was going to say Mary Poppins. But the Von Shut Your Trap family. The hills are alive. Oh, I'm in the Majesty's Place first. Um, the Metropolitan Place. I rest people all day long and I've got a lovely pair of boobs. So I stay in all day playing with them and never go to work. Well, you wouldn't, would you? Okay. Let's have a look at some interesting pics and expand our consciousness. And we somewhat and get more learned about things <laughs> okay these was in the, the old days what females actually look like okay although they're sort of matching colors but why would you need so many bananas you're not going to eat that how many she got maybe it's for the two of them maybe this for the two of them they seem close they eat a lot of bananas they need the energy so yeah the 1960s and 1970s yay so um, if you're in America, you probably don't know about this, but Britain has been divided, okay, by the M4 corridor, okay? Anything north of the M4 corridor is the north, okay, the northerners. And anything south of this line, as you can see, the line rests right on Cardiff, because Cardiff is in South Wales, so we are southerners. OK, so anything below the M4 corridor there, OK, is the south. Now, I know it's a disproportionate sharing of north and south, but that's just the way it is. I don't make the fucking rules. OK, so anything north of the M4 corridor, that's you northerners. OK, and anything, that's the southerners. OK, southerners. Or southerners. <laughs> Oh, Lisa Bello, she made a new album. There's a guy masturbating in my car. I wonder what it's about. It might not be self-explanatory. You don't know. All right, let's have a look at this. I thought, first of all, it was in Cunt Street, but it's not. It's in Gun Street. I know Gun Street. Gun Street's in London. So they used to have a little tiny shop there. Ah, it's lovely. Lovely little shop on Gun Street. Probably still there. Lion's Cakes. See Lion's Cakes? Day was nice. Lion sponge. <coughs> so this is in Cardiff in 1890s, and it is St. Mary Street, uh, the main thoroughfare through the city. Um, a good proportion of these buildings are still around. You can see Cardiff Castle at the end of the street. We had the electric tram, and they got rid of the tram. And lovely entrances to the hotels. That's the Royal Hotel. That's no longer there. Uh, just quite a few of their buildings have been replaced with shit, but a, a lot of them still remain in the modern day. This is the entrance to Cardiff Market. And above it there was the Marconi College, where they used to learn about radios. So there's Norma Jean. Look at me. I'm Norma Jean. Innocent with virginity. That would be very much. So she was a, a ginger. No shit. And you want to see how many Hollywood starlets and were ginger first, okay? And we all know, like, Rita Hayworth and stuff. But, I mean, a lot of them were gingers. So, she was quite fluffy, wasn't she? I won't have it, the Malin. They say Malin Monroe is a fella. I think she wasn't a fella. She's beautiful. Okay? There she is, Norma Jean. She's a ginger. And she dyed her hair blonde. To be... A debutante. And there's another ginger. Somebody said that uh, Margaret was uh, a man in my comments. Yeah, tell fucking Elvis Presley that, won't you? Tell me, uh, when her husband died, Elvis Presley sent a gift to his funeral. He was very respectful of her movie husband. But um, 
there she is. Um, it looks like she's in the making of the film that she never starred in. Easy Rider there, but she's dressed all American. And I, I don't think you could really ride that bike in them boots. But I might be wrong. Very daring for a woman anyway. So um, this was out in the 1970s. They've been banging on about this fucking thing for years, look. So this was um, March the 4th, um, 1970. And they were telling you about million sea eclipse next showing in 2024. So, yeah, millions on the other side of the pond. Unless we had a little bit here, I don't know. So someone caught that and posted on Facebook. I can't substantiate, but they do look like that when you look at stars through a P1000 camera, a P900 camera. And that was caught from P1000. It's a star. And he caught it, took a shot, and it looked like a Stars of souls. Looks a bit demonic, though. But you see what you want. Fifth Avenue, where all the elites lived in their old mansions that they bought that were left after a reset, I think, anyway. And this is in Murphy-Tidville. I love this photo. In Wales, used to be an old capital. It's a city in the north of South Wales, if that makes any sense. And here's the police officers on March. Let's have a look at some of these. Isn't it? I used to sit on walls like that. We used to watch the brass bands go by. We used to have even army marches when I was a kid and military tattoos. <laughs> so before um, Brooklyn was incorporated into the greater New York metropolis, it was the fourth largest city in the world. And I went to join New York and makes it the biggest city in America. But until then, it was the fourth largest city in America, which I think... Houston, no, it's the fourth largest, maybe less, I think maybe the third. So um, I picked this up on Facebook, right, and it shows you um, the Dakota Hotel, opposite Central Park, 2017. We'll see the interior to that. But then you've got the Dakota year in 1884, and you've only got mud outside in these weird shacks. Can you see them made of wood? find that really unusual because all of the other Dakota images I've ever seen, there's a, a really well-established road outside here and it doesn't look like this at all. Only this one image. So maybe it was just a brief, you know, because it's quite early. Maybe it was just like that. And then it's just crazy to think that they built all that, you know, dragged all of that materials over all this mud. And just built that massive. And you want the engineering in it. And it's all mis mystery technologies in there, apparently. So I posted about this this week. I did a couple of humorous posts to keep you all entertained. Uh, Sex and Rockets, the occult world of Jack, pa Jack Parsons, OTT, okay, OTO, I mean. Uh, he was involved with Hubbard and Alistair Crowley. That's another person who I covered. Um, after Zab Zabate, um, in here, Zabby, I cover a little bit on Alistair Crowley and Jack Parsons. Coincidentally, Jack Parsons was born on October the 2nd, which is my birthday. We are born on the same day. But they called him, and guess what colour hair Jack Parsons has? Uh, yes, Jack Parsons was a ginger. Strange angel. Otherworldly life of rocket scientists. And basically, there's another book as well, um, basically saying rockets are basically penises and I think more. I think that might be true. So, yeah, Jack Parsons, rocket scientist, um, founder or something to do with the origin of the Jet, uh, Jet Propulsion Laboratory, JPL, <laughs> uh, but involved in occult practices and uh, Satanism, which is basically the the uh, basis for all of that bullshit you hear about space and NASA. So here is Tavistock Institute's finest. Let's see if we can uh, spot any we know. There's Eric Clapton. There's Bill Wyman. He married a child. Um, there is Maggie Smith. Was that her name? Yeah. God, she was beautiful, but she was about 17 or something. Um, he's dead now. I love Charlie Watts. The smack got to him in the end. Uh, we got... Um, what would you say if I sang a Joe Cocker? Best ever. Love Joe Cocker. Um, Jimmy Jimmy Page being a complete knob. Um, I think that is um, Emerson. And I think that is 
know the face. Anyone? Who's that? Who's that? Guys, who's this one? Yeah. Mm, come on, come on. Parsons was a peed. Jeff Beck, yeah, thank you. Oh, and um, Paul Rogers. Which one's Paul Rogers? That's not Paul Rogers. That's not Paul Rogers from free. So who's this one? Yeah. He looks like an old 1980s skinhead guy. Who's this one? Yeah. Where's the who? Exactly. I, I know there's no who on this one, but it is just a random collection of, of uh, Tavistock's finest look. Okay. I don't know what's going on with this photo opportunity. So the makers of Star Wars is like, let's get us down to the beach with a princess Leah wearing hardly anything sort of. And then her father uh, standing behind her with his hands around her neck on the beach. So I don't know what they were actually thinking about there. Um, Maybe there's some other context. Seems a bit weird. But there she is. Princess Layla. You're my only hope, one Obi-Wan Kenobi. Okay. That's right, son. Get it down, yeah? Can I have some more, Dad? No, you can only have a pint, and then I'll give you a fag on the way over. Don't tell your mother, okay? And he will live till he's 90 and have a completely healthy life, yeah? I was I grew up an Estonian kid and they were all alcoholics and they're constantly giving me booze. I was drunk a lot as a child. Yeah, it was. So that old lady could be thinking, God, I was beautiful and young like her once. And that young woman could be looking at her thinking, fuck me, is that what I'm gonna be when I'm old? Because old sex doesn't it? I don't know why anyone would want to do it. So, um, yeah, it's funny, isn't it? How people change from youthful beauty and end up decrepit and old like a tea bag, except for um, Dolly Parton, for example. So, <laughs> so there's one of our old antichrists. Shall I chuck him in the oven? Yeah, don't knock him out or anything. I want him to feel everything. So, yeah, antichrist of the 12th century. He's got red cape on as well. This is the Antichrist being tempted by the devil. Apparently, they're two separate characters. He's also a ginger. And he's got weird devilly eyes. And the red cape that they all get. Jesus gets the red cape. Superman gets the red cape. They all get the red cape, as we've covered before. Here's another king. He's the Antichrist. He also has a red cape. And he's got a bit of purple going on as well. And I'll show what cape he's got. He hasn't got one. He's got a KP. And there is... The Krishna battles with the Antichrist and the good guy. So what we do in this in history, this is out of, um, I think this is a North American um, engravings book, how they trained animals to eat animals. So I think they completely trained enslaved animals to be on our food source. So they trained animals to eat animals. Fatten them up. Mind you, what they do with Farquhar, or Farquhar, whatever it's called, goose. It's disgusting. Okay, I like Rolf, Ralph Emerson, uh, Waldorf Emerson. He has good sayings, even though he seems a bit of an elite. To laugh often and much, to win the respect of intelligent people and the affection of children, to earn the appreciation of honest critics and ensure the betrayal of false friends to appreciate beauty to find the best in others, to leave the world a bit better. I think we do a lot better than that. Whether by a healthy child, a garden patch, or um, a redeemed social condition, to know even one life has been breathed easier because you have lived. This is to have succeeded. Well, I've succeeded then. So I've... I was going to say touched millions, but I don't mean touched millions. <laughs> touched the soul of millions. So what's this? Oh, yeah, um, I got a record in the cupboard there of Tijuana, uh, Herb Halbert and Tijuana Brass. It's brilliant. I used to play it a lot when I was a kid. Taste of honey. Taste of honey, that's right. Whipped cream and other delights. Funny how they use. It might not be sexually related, it just might be me with a bad mind, I don't know. So I used Dustin Hoffman behind um, all, uh, Joseph Mengler, played by um, Lawrence Olivier, and Dustin Hoffman behind him. OK, 
okay? And later on, he's going to be pulling his teeth out, torturing him, and he's going to be going, is it safe? Is it safe? And poor Dustin Hoffman, he's like, I don't know what the fuck you're talking about, dude. Okay, let's have a look at some gods of the past. This is a god, apparently, an ancient god, who's showing his bum. And got a lizard or a snake wrapped around him, active charge. And the wings as well. So, it's an angel, demon. So maybe some, some demons are good. I don't know. So, interesting that Manly P. Hall wrote a book on the Phoenix, reviewing 7,000 years of strange law, 19 fascinating articles, 91 magnificent illustrations. I went looking for a Wayback Machine. I can't find it. I'd love to get this book. It's cover surf theosophy a bit with uh, Blavatsky. Uh, Cycle of Transmigration, Sorcery in Asia, Albert Pike, and um, Plato of Freemasonry, and the Ladders of the Soul. So that would be really interesting. I got some other Manly P. Hall texts, or chemical texts, uh, but that would be interesting if we could get hold of that. I've looked through all them book collections I got, and got it. Lucifer, the light bearer or morning star, bringer of the light of awareness to humanity. And he's depicted, or she's depicted everywhere. Helios, as you've got the Statue of Liberty, as you know. And Luciferio, got Prometheus as a contender for that one. St. Lucia, Lucia, St. Lucia, there's Lucifer. And uh, this woman holding the lights you get on Paramount movies as well. And Apollo, all of them, the light givers, the light bringers, which again is anal analogous uh, for the rise and fall of consciousness through a reset. <laughs> so I'm from the 1970s, so I was a big, you know, I thought that, you know, I used to get excited if Susie Quattro come on the telly on top of the pops because she, I thought she was sexy. And now I'm like, Susie Quattro, a boy. Look at her face. I know, and she had yet. No offense to women, I've got any um, titties or anything. That's completely nice. And it's all about the nipple anyway. But she hasn't got any titties. It looks like it's a man wearing a titty bra. And these leathery underpants, I'm sorry. So the boots actually are really good. <laughs> kinky boots are awesome. That's what, that's what men want. I want to see kinky boots on women. Okay, not fat women. Did I say that aloud? Shit. I didn't mean that. So, <laughs> shit, I got to learn to be quiet. So my mother used to do, um, she used to do window dressing and put clothes on with mannequins in um, David Morgan's department store in Cardiff years ago. And she said to me that she thought that they come to life at night and go out nightclubbing in Cardiff. So you literally could end up picking up a mannequin and then in the morning after you know whatever she could go back to a shop window and then she'd just be like free freezing again hopefully you love stains and maybe you're good so we got another ginger here this is cleopatra who was a, a ginger lady and it seems to be all of these emperors and leaders i've seen so many images and they're all ginger she's got the high of Horus, beautiful green bit of glass and I'm not looking at a nipple. That would be wrong. But it's the ISIS religion. You have to show a bit of it going on, isn't it? Okay, we've got a flick flack going on. No, they don't really give a shit. They're just perving. Come on, do it again. You feel so stupid, don't you? So beautiful, yet so stupid. Often go together. You know, if you've got someone that beautiful and they're really intelligent, they must be a complete psychopath. There's got to be something going wrong. Can't be that perfect. Anyway. So, Batman. Check out Batman. Get the bat lube, Robin. It's in the utility belt. Right, you are Batman. Bat lube. Do, 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 bat lube. Oh my God. No, that's not good. I don't like that. I didn't see that one. It's a little. Oh my God, no. Yeah. They are massive toy fails, but there are worse as well. There are worse toy fails, like the of a couple. Okay. Smooth bits on, on your action man. I thought I'd be much better with a really Ostend. I've been there. It's good there. I didn't remember seeing that though. Massive antiquitech thingy. Ah, here's the emperor, the Turkish. This is the Turkish caliph. He has shiny things. Look how many battle I win. Yeah, I got some. 
So that's fantastic, isn't it, to be a boss of things and an emperor thingy? Look at that, get all shiny fucking badges and stuff. Not. So um, this is from Crete, and you've got the Gorgon, and she's on a three-legged thing. So you get the Triscallion, um, but it's also the same as the Manx flag, the Isle of Man in the Irish Sea, part of Britain. But I noticed uh, she got um, wings for years. And she got the uh, serpents coming out of her head, the gorgon. But interesting, they put her on a triscalli in her legs. I wonder what the thing about that is with the Manx thing. Somebody did say it was connected with the Taurus, and this was the electromagnetics. So there she is. Okay, I don't know if um, she is there. She is in uh, New York. And uh, she's going to get killed uh, by apparently fucking Charles Manson's followers uh, in a horrible horrible way. Um, but yeah, she looks beautiful there. It's, it's highly doubtful. I don't know. She had a weird husband, though. There's a photograph I see later, though. Uh, but they made a big fucking fuss of her, look. And there's another Cleopatra, the beautiful Vivian Lee. Oh, I love. I love Vivian Lee. Okay. I kiss her on a Brian. She died the same day I was born. I'm not saying I'm a reincarnation of Vivian Lee because it takes three days, but there is a chance. Okay. There's Turin in a star fort. Again, from a bird's eye pers perspective. It's cannon, cannon it. So there's a good old Bacchus sculpture. Not good old, but there he is, Bacchus. He's got hoofy roofies and he's got a naked woman feeding him his wine they love to get drunk i'm not sure if it's just wine wine in this phoenician narrative you know because it might have been really strong wine though he might be really drunk really quick oh no you savage beast get off me get off me there's a lot of that going on i think the dog's biting the foot so yeah bacchus he's like taking you home with me there's me when i fancied myself as a cowboy this time last year First time I ever went to America land, got myself a cowboy hat, literally changed my personality. I literally thought I was a cowboy and I've always wanted to be a cowboy anyway. And I, and I was just, I wanted like two guns by my side. I did proper cowboy then. So here's Queen Victoria, all four foot of her and her brats, the rural Europe. I noticed that King Willie is a ginger. Uh, this is Kaiser Wilhelm, and they'll all be in war with one another a bit later. This is like the turn of the century. She's yet to die. And all of these brats here, Mary, all the rest of them, they will all end up um, the royal family you see today. But these are all um, basically German imposters. And Albert's been dead a few years. He was a full-on German. But yeah, the Angles and the Saxons. This would be cool, wouldn't it? Get away, you know, good way to go to town is just connect yourself up to wires above and just slide all the way to town like a zip line. I'd like that. Should do that on big wires over the city. I love sweep. Do you love sweep? Do you think there was anything untoward going on between um, Sooty and Sue? It was a weird setup, wasn't it? Because they used to, you know, Matthew used to bed them down at night next to one another. And it would be Sue in the middle and then Sooty and Sweep on either side. So, I don't know. Look at his face. Oh, look, I love I love Sweep. Not Sooty. Sooty's all right, but I love Sweep. I don't know if you had Sooty and Sweep in America. You should have. Fucking brilliant. Best thing ever. So, crazy decoration. So, in the 1970s, we had carpets like this. My mother had a purple version with all swirls in it. Honest to God, it was like... It was, like, it was like you were tripping without taking anything, looking at it. And in the 1970s, we had wallpaper like this. Again, looks highly strange if you are tripping or anything like that in the 1970s. And I think they did it on purpose. It just went, it just went fucking nuts, the decorations in the 70s. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I have covered this in the past. It's worth a whole vlog, but the story of the Winchester Mystery House. If you've seen the Winchester movie with Helen Mirren, really good. And Helen Mirren's beautiful. Um, near San Jose before the earthquake. But they put uh, earthquake dampeners under the entire building. No two wings 
are the same and they all represent like different styles it's just nobody can work out what's happening but it is massive all built on the money from the winchester rifle and there was a lady who lived in there for many years and she had all this built they say but earthquake dampeners underneath the building have you heard of until then so here's a little big jesus a ginger baby jesus who's getting down to a bit of bitty which is nice never see that too much do you jesus getting a bit milk which is completely natural so we're gonna take you over are you gonna take me over then we got a fashe see these things here they give up laser beams gonna fuck your shit up so there you are that's how we took out all of the countries not us the romans uh what the romans have done for us fashe our asses here's some tibetan witch doctors or medicine men and i don't know why they make um masks like this and what they're i don't know what these things are either they're like bells or something but tibetan mystic men have masks and they all look very very strange maybe that's what they see when they're on psychedelics or something what do they do <laughs> so these are more of tavistock's finest use your who person here whoever said that so I am ashamed of him. He's from Wales, from a band called Stereophonic, John Kelly, total wanker. Um, I, I kind of love the mod god because it's part of my childhood, you know, eating rifles going underground with the jam. It was Paul Weller. And even his solo stuff with Wildwood was fantastic. After Stanley Road, it went all downhill though, didn't it? So um, the mod god, Paul Weller, okay, he's so illuminated, it's hard to believe. What about Robert Plant? Do you think there's a reason they called him Plant? Yeah, so what was he? Fluffy ginger there, a bit really. So what's he doing that for? He's showing you who his allegiance is to. And this is for the Teenage Cancer, Tr Cancer Trust. Let's fucking spurn him with cigarettes, shall we? Here's um, a famous trout farmer, and probably the biggest lead singer in history, who is Roger Daltrey. And I'm not sure who that is there. Anyone can identify that tosser there. At first, I thought it was Bono. Um, anyone? Who's this guy? You're yeah, Frostborn? Anyone help me? Bonnie? I don't know who that is. But Robert Plant's doing the old triangle, isn't he? Oh, Eddie Vedder. Oh, Vida. Eddie Vida. Yeah, okay, that's good. So, yeah, more of Tavistock's finest. Yeah, Teenage Cancer Trust. Oh, they've got big hearts, haven't they? I oh, love them. I bet they give loads of their personal money over to that cause. <laughs> so um, this happened recently. I don't know whether you've seen it, but Lucifer, or the statue of Lucifer, that is the Statue of Liberty, She's she's got a laser beam and it struck her ice cream cone. I am the power. There can be only one. That's what she's saying. So New York, you, you always have earthquakes. I heard it lasted for 45 seconds, because that's weird, because the earthquake in San Francisco, the completely devastated, lasts less than four seconds. 48 seconds of rattling of New York. Um, what's your nearest fault line now? Missouri. Okay. Well, apparently the comet goes straight over New Madrid. I'm not saying that'll cause any problems for you. Um so, yeah, you've got rattling in New York, places you don't have earthquakes. And tens of millions felt it. And you do with comets? I don't think the shadow cast by the sun, uh, the moon going in front of the sun, like the shadow, would have any earthquake here. Ah! Oh, my God! Quick, it's going to suck our soul out. It's sucking my bum out. It's sucking my brain out. Ah! So that's what they're all scared of. A lot of people. I've seen it all over the internet. People thinking it's an actual thing. Um, I've seen loads of these things at places. And they are, they're boring as shit. They don't do anything. Just get a diamond and they're pretty and it fucks off. It's over with quick. It's not long lasting. You don't get a long lasting eclipse. Okay. Do we think Grace Jones is a fella? Well, she likes to hit people a lot, doesn't she? she I remember she was she hit a couple of British uh, chat show hosts, namely Russell Harty. She gave him a good fucking thumping. Uh, I think she hit Michael Parkinson too. She was a lot very thumpy, 
wasn't she? Um, a lady garden comes up really high and it's weird. It's more like male pubes, the way it curves over. I don't see women. They look like they're straight there, isn't it? You know, on lady garden. So, yeah, she's showing it. Um, and she's got actually no boobs unless she's just tying them back. And her physique is, look at her stomach. That's that's a dude's stomach. And let's be honest, she's one of Tavistock's finest, isn't she? From the nipple bottle, bottle never satisfied. Okay, yes, uh I was wondering why, and I love this. I love Slade. I heard Slade um, outside the, or well, went in for a little bit, but I was only a little kid. Um, in uh, Coney Island, in Trackle Bay, in Puff Co, when I was a kid, Slade played there. They're the loudest band you would ever imagine. I mean, it was like fucking thunder. Just so loud. Noddy Holder is doing a flat thumbs. Okay. Mike's doing a flat thumbs. They're all doing flat thumbs at me and you. Slade. Slade of fat thumbing. It's good, isn't it? Stone of thought of the day. Each time you light a lighter, your lighter gets lighter. Until your lighter gets so light that it won't light. It's true, that is, though, isn't it? It's light. gets lighter and lighter until it doesn't light. Strange. These are real. Do you know? Hugh, anybody, just... Look, they got little tiny donkeys, um, miniature donkeys. They're that little guys, yeah. And they make eel noises. And I swear to God, they're that little. You could have one in your house. I could have a fucking donkey in my house. <sighs> donkey, little donkey, little donkey. Jesus had a donkey. No, he never. He had an ass. So the brain um, is basically an overdeveloped sperm, okay? So it's, so if you're thinking like, if you're a male and you're thinking like maybe dirty thoughts, it's not a natural. Your brain and your spinal column is an overdeveloped spunk. And, or sperm, uh, scientifically, I think they call it, or jizz, or something like that. Um, I think it's real. That's why the predator always rips out the spinal column and the brain. It's because he knows. Did you know that? So let's have a look at um, this Roman Polanski, a director of many weird films, including Rosemary's Baby, where apparently they invited Anton the Fay, uh, you know, the guy in the Church of Satan thing, to play the guy who, the devil, who has sex with her to make the Antichrist baby. Anyway, so there she is, Sharon Tate. She definitely included all this Satan fucking thing. And there he is, weird as fuck, Roman Polanski, this creepy little fucker. But she's got a big voice box, and she's much bigger than Roman Polanski. And why has she got Ant on her front like a rapper does? That's not a natural female thing. That's a blokey thing. And she is proper big. Look at the dog as well. Okay, yeah, she's looking a bit on, big on the jaw. She's looking like Demi Moore big. I mean, Demi Moore, that's Roger fucking Ramjet, yeah? So here's 1969 in Amsterdam. They've had weed years, and you can smoke it there. And all of the hippies in 1969, they went out to the Damrak. This is in the Damrak in the centre of Amsterdam. They used to hang out. People used to play music. I was too young for all of that. I got there later. First time I went to Amsterdam, how old was I? Oh, only a kid. I was 17, 18, something like that. And um, they had a really good time. They talked about philosophical stuff. So, Mr. Jennings, hang out. I'm going to have fun. Oh, how can you eat an orange? I can't eat oranges. They burns my face off. More of Tavistock's finest. Now, I'm wondering, because their manager, the Beatles, was Brian Epstein that mysteriously got killed. And he rever, rever, re, basically regarded them as his boys. Here they are with um, Jerry Lee Lewis, right? Who's a known massive homosexual. And they're all like, it's like, come here, boys. Oh, you're all my boys. We're all gay together, aren't we? And they're like, yeah, we're all gay together. So I think they're all gay together. I definitely think um, these two had something going on, like uh, Mick Jagger and and um keith richards oh yes oh yes i'm just chucking that out there 
So yeah, that's weird, isn't it? All these all they all all in it together. They're all they all know one another, don't they? Anyway, we're moving on. We'll come back for a minute, actually. See you. See you, Bob. Five hundred thirty-three of you watching. Happy Sunday to you. Thank you for popping by. And thank you for watching. <coughs> Oh, I need a drink. I only have one of these a week, if anyone complains. And it tastes nice, Coca-Cola. And I think it's probably more healthy than bad compared to all the shit that people eat these days. Okay. All right, let me check on the comments. I've got a couple more shares, I think. And we're coming up to the end of this. How long have I been posting, guys? Let me have a little look. Over two hours ago. Oh, well, we'll do a bit more then. I don't want to go too far because, honestly, I'm uh, hot. And, uh, okay. Let's have a look what we got. We got Sherry M. Hall. Martin um, is Vivian. Is Vivian Lee. Well, yeah, I'm also, um, apparently, I'm, I'm a small Jewish girl. I'm, I'm, I'm Frank, apparently. That's the rumour, anyway. Arto, thanks, my brother. And Melissa... Oh, thank you. Thank you all for being here, making the time to come, yeah? What about Maureen O'Hara? Oh, yeah, definitely, Ginger. I'll tell you who else as well, who I love as well. I used to love her as a kid, Shirley MacLaine. When she was in Sweet Charity, I feel like literally fell in love with Shirley MacLaine. It's the eyes. She had the similar squinty, sexy eyes as Debbie Harry had. And I used to love Debbie Harry too. So, yeah, Debbie Harry's not a girl, uh, not a boy, by the way. And, um, yeah, I used to like... Um, I was I, I used to love Natalie Wood when I was a kid. Fucking love Natalie Wood. So uh Queen uh Gormflaith, keep you're keeping me company are oh, good. That's what that's what we're doing. Anyway, that's what I made the effort for. So we could all hang around together, look at some juice, have a little giggle along the way. Not they take life too serious. Uh, did little Richard renounce homosexuality before he was dead? It might be just a psyop. They do it with a lot of them. They say, Lisa, they say to some of them, oh, you're going to get more famous if you just act like a gay and stuff. We'll even give you a, a boyfriend you can parade around with. And, and actually, they're not at all. So I think that happened a lot. So look at Elton John. He's like the reverse. He had a wife when he was like, um, when he was in the 80s and he's like made that, I'm still standing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He had a hot, sexy wife. Blonde woman. I can't believe it. And then he ends up with that guy who looks like Cabbage Patch Kid. It's a leather man. So um, Epstein was um, on the list of the names that was transported to America during the Project Paperclip. That's another. Well, I don't know if he's. We got a famous architecture, Epstein, as well. He, he designed the interior of Philander Cathedral here in Cardiff. So it's. There's a lot of Epsteins, you know, uh, famous ones as well. But, yeah, it's that connection. It's the bloodline. Um, Epinephrine, are you lovely? Stand that like button. Thanks. Thanks, lovely. So lovely. Kimmy, are you up? Right, mate. Uh, Dragon Rebirth, thanks. thank you for popping by. Yeah, good show. Okay, we'll look at a couple more things. I'll share them in the description box be below briefly. i got so much to show you guys. i got it's just hard uh, to believe. Fairy man, penny man. Okay, I did lose my ring from my year. It got crushed or something in America or fell out. And I always kept that to pay the ferry man with, just in case till chicken chances. We stuck on the wrong side, do you? Um, he had a huge head like Richard. He was really good, little Richard, though, wasn't he? I bet he was fucking a shock to the American culture. Imagine when he turned up. Uh, worse than Boy George when he turned up. Uh, Blew their heads off. Like, my oh God, he's super talented. Oh God, he's, God, he's fucking up. It's embarrassing, isn't it? <laughs> Shiva Shampoo. What's happening, my bro? And he's talking to Ditch. Much love to you as well, Ditch. Ringo the Dingo. Yeah, it's funny how Ringo Starr's son ended up such a really successful drummer. You know, uh, Zach Stark, he doesn't look anything like his father. Um, he's drummer with a who? <laughs> and Oasis. Just crazy. Well, not Oasis, Liam Gallagher at the moment. I was a hippie as well for a bit, but I didn't like it because basically they had bad hygiene problems and stuff, and I wasn't digging that. So I just like, I got that thing about like, I was literally living the life of travelers and hippies for years, guys. Like, literally, I was one of them. And I was like, 
they need they need to start using soap. So that's just me though. <laughs> I'm not saying all hippies smell, but I'm just saying. Um Annie T, Marcel, vibes. Somewhere in time. I will find out what that song's really like. Actually, I do know what that song's somewhere in time. I do know it. Just can't remember how it goes. I can't say that word. I'll just say Raph, all right, because that's just a lot of stuff in my brain. Uh, and, oh, Alva Billy's in the house. Okay, now I'm going to try when I get better to make more content. It's been a struggle this week, but I'm back. I'm making the effort. Zuma, good to see you as well. Lovely, immortal. So, yeah, wiggly, wiggly flat thumbs to you all. Shelly. I'll just show you a couple of shares before I shoot off because I got too much content, actually. And I don't want to be staying for hours. I should, I've explained. Uh, uh, me, me struggling. Okay. So, Soul Train was a good bit. I like doing Soul Train. I'll do that again one day. Okay. So I'm going to share a couple of things for you, and I'll put them in the description box following this video. And, and they're these. So this is the Philosophical Reformer. It's a load of alchemical images. It's so sinister. It's hard to even imagine. I got the book somewhere. I literally downloaded the images. It's all it's alchemical. You can see the underlying theme of Phoenicia, alchemical um, doings, and even homunculus you know you got look on this next year you've got a phoenix on that side you've got a blazing lizard some guy's got a baby in his hand a globe on his middle really strange and homunculus being bred in people's in jazz on these women's heads but this is a formula it's an alchemical formula the flaming dragon is and they mix them all together for the philosopher's stone apparently the quest for immortal life or oh, the really important business of, tr of turning base metals into gold like lead into gold because apparently that's the most important thing to them so here we get the black sun and um, an ominous skeleton above the black sun which is really low as well it's not in the sky is it and some suns sitting around the table. The upside down triangle is definitely a biggie. We see it all over our chemical uh, depictions. The plasma burst, we call it. Got the flaming dragon and the flaming phoenixes, if they are. And the alchemical process. I've got a lot of books about it, but you know, when they on about mixing this and that. And I just can't make head or tail out of it. And a lot of the substances I don't think are even around anymore. Highly strange though, isn't it? Especially the homunculus, these critters with loads of legs. It's just he's creating a sound, flamentia. So fermentaria. It's like fermentation. And you've got like a man or woman laying down. Are they growing people? <laughs> and he's blowing a horn, vibration and sound. Interesting. Walk on water. I've seen that a lot. A lot of gym, gym, geometry in there. And again, with that Masonic triangle. Well, they, they're on the sea, on the water, floating on the water. Highly strange, though, aren't they? These are chemical images. But they're all codes. They're, they're like, basically, this is a recipe book. You know, this wind serpent the dragon uh, mean more in an alchemical turn and you know we got mercury you know so that'll include mercury because there's mercury with caduceus and there's a still of some sort and you see a lot of breeding homunculus tiny people looks like stuff going on with many here table full of gold Oh, yeah, they're recipe books for some strange stuff. You, you get a lot of, like, necromancing and stuff like this in these books. Not sure what's going on with a copulating couple behind the screen. 
and then they end up in um, some sort of glass box with death on one side and he's pointing at them i don't know and then they're buried together weird i don't know there's two suns in the sky though one two maybe maybe our moon was another sun the second sun and in the last reset maybe that was the last reset it went out i often think about what they say them uh craters are well they're not craters are they the plasma burns because craters were coming that way or that way they don't all come in that way if impossible so they're not that so i always thought about well when you see the sun you see a series of um and i've seen them myself so they do exist they sun spots and maybe sunspots just cause scarring on the, you know, on, on the thing itself, the, the surface of the thing. Um, and maybe that's what, you know, a clue to what the moon actually was as a sun. I don't think it's a Death Star, and I don't think there's space. I think there's water up there. And that moon is is close. It's in our atmosphere, and the sun is close too. That's why the sun is eating it. There. Uh, the, the lion is eating the sun. I mean, yeah. Sun's energy. And they're going to make that little fucker a king. And this one, he's got chicken legs. So what they mean, all of them, I don't really know. It's really, you can see the Phoenician thing going on. You know, these whales, these Phoenician whales we see all the time. And her squirting water like they're super soakers out of her nipples. You see it all the time. It's really weird. And the holy hand grenade, the resetting ball that you see Jesus riding. I've seen loads of characters riding this resetting ball. This one's got wings on and dragon. Look, all the crowns drop in. And a plasma fire, a plasma burst. So, um, infamy, infamy, they've all got it infamy. It looks like this king's about to get his head smashed in by literally everyone, because basically... They found out what he was up to and turned. And the birds or the crows are eating all of the dead. Interesting. Maybe they all rose. If the dead did rise, that'd be a messy affair, wouldn't it? Have you seen it? They'd be all fucking manky and bits falling off. I don't think they'd be able to walk anyway. It's a stupid thing. They make zombies. It's fucking ridiculous. Anyway, <coughs> it's a lot of ridiculous shit, but that's only me. Um, thinks it's ridiculous, you know, each to their own. But I think there's a lot of ridiculous shit in the internet. It's like weird. People just like believe any old fucking thing. <laughs> These are an old text and they're beautiful colour and they're the voyages of Marco Polo. You don't get the Great Wall of Rome in this, though. But you do get a lot of, well, red caped leaders. And a lot of deals going down with King Edges and stuff. So, yeah, on his way east, and you don't really see eastern-looking people. Oh, right, there's a bit of fisticuffs going on there, a bit chopping up the people. He's got his hair, hair off or his head off. So is the nature of the medieval battlefield. But they are really nice depictions, but, you know, let's move on. Oh, look, we've got loads of stuff for you here, loads of stuff. And this king has two heads. He's got a red cape on. And here's Mary with a baby Jesus. Oh, they're the three Magi. They're the three Magi. Okay, I get it. There is a religious thing going on. So they were kings, were they, the Magi? I thought the Magi were Persian because that was the thing about Persia was the Magis. The genies. So they are really, you know, nice depictions, proper medieval, you see by the headwear, but really unusual. There's loads of them too. Let's like scroll through. I'll show you a few. I'll link this up in the description box below after this video. So they seem pretty big. Are they giants? Because they seem as big as the castle. I think they got a reset coming. Just pooing their pants. So is nature reset. Oh, I'm not gonna die. 
we know nothing about the place. We are like medieval people ourselves with our lack of understanding of our environment. I definitely think it's technological, thinking along the lines of some amazing futuristic whatever or ancient AI. Because all these narratives, they just seem written, and you, that's how we manage to decode them. Um, it's like sometimes I just decode something, and I'm like, uh, somebody's actually thought this out. How is that even possible? Yeah, it is possible, because they do think it out. That's how you manage to decode this shit. Some people have thought into it. So I'm not sure if that's the last supper. they got a lot of they got some women over. They look like queens. No, it's not. It's not Jesus. It's a guy with ermine and blue. An emperor. And look at that fountain making wine. Let's hope it's wine and not blood. Why would they be doing that? Might be, though. Just putting that out there. So what we got here going on. We're going to hunt some animals and kill them. But you have got to eat. So get that. Okay, I won't be going through too many more because i got to stop. Uh, there you are, Giza. That's your book. And I'll have a half of your country. They've got loads of books in there. Look in there. And they're giving him, giving him information and gold. So it's a lot of paying off in all of this, isn't it? It's what it is. Go and see the king. Give him good shit. Suck up and he'll let you do what? Give you the key to the city. What we got going on here? She's got no clothes on. It's a flaming something. Interesting. Why hasn't she got no clothes on? Why is that flaming? Oh, it's magic, isn't it? Okay. Anything else weird going on? Oh, yeah, we got some naked bathers. Oh, no, the king and his wife are playing chess naked in their garden, which is all right. Nothing wrong. Maybe they're just naturalists back then. But it's nice they kept their hats on. And the gardener's peeking over the fence. Mind your own business. It's like, wow, the queen has massive bazookas. And there's dinner. The blue hairy men. Oh, imagine these. They got like um, horns on them. Like, And these ones got uh, antlers, not horns. This one's got tusks. And they, they they suit, so do they actually got, no, they're blue men. Blue men with, and they're eating people. Okay. And they're eating people and a deer. But he's definitely got a human hand there. You're all going to be eaten. Please don't eat us. It's going to happen, guys. Oh, I've seen that. These um, deities before in the lead van der Heil Atlas, they're all over Asia. This demonic uh, thing. He's given me a polo. Give me a polo, sire. So, yeah, the need to worship. It's just, what is worship anyway? I'm sure, like, hang on a minute. So we go into a church and we worship our leader. It's like, hang on a minute. So let's have a think about that. What, God is so fickle and so vain that he needs everyone to blow smoke up his ass on a daily fucking basis or on a Sunday? I don't think so. He's the master of the universe, isn't he? So, or, you know, fucking all prevalent everywhere all at the same time omnipresent so why would he like you know be so weak um as to want everyone's blowing smoke up his fucking ass every week I, I just don't see it so i think worship is if you put that energy into say um an evil entity um he the evil entity he wants you to suck up and blow smoke up his ass because he's weak and, and evil so he's like you yeah, know i want them to love me so come and worship me Come and praise me. I want to be worshipped. That makes more sense to me. But just me. They were a load of king off. A load of, a load of kings. Shaking hands and doing king stuff. Right, that's, that's enough. That's enough. If you want to find out all about these uh, subjects, get onto my website. It's linked below. Okay. And you see all of the stuff we cover here. All oh, flat earth British. Antiquitech. Giants, art, world's fairs, resets, antiquity, said, fireplaces, activities. There's a lot to get through. 
So that would be me on a Sunday. I flat a date late because I was too ill to actually post yesterday. Mortal, enlightening, thank you. Stoner logic, Marcel. You know it, bro. We're high intellectuals. Um, ditch. Um, I'm inventing a new drink. Yeah, warship. Exactly, Bob, brother. How's it going, mate? So that's been me for this episode. I, as I said, I want to make more presentations. Cool. Like, thank you, Sheaves. And uh, just be here more. I do keep a... Uh, I do keep the community messages going, but Eclipse is a black sign. Well, it will be when the moon moves in front of it. It's going to look pretty pretty black, and then you get the white bit around the edge. <coughs> okay. Thank you, Mr. Troy. Thank you, Sherry. Um, and everybody else who's watching and bringing their vibration here and being positive and being awesome people. Keep it up, guys. Liberty Worm fam, good to see you. Okay, I've got just under 500 watching. If you would like this video, that helps because I like YouTubers just crashing uh, Truth for Channels right now, as I'm sure you know. And um, share this out, that would be a great help. I'm sure it's not too rude. Colin Crawford. Uh, and oh, yeah, Raf. I don't know that first word, sorry. Too much of my brain. And Felina's in the house. Good to see you, Felina. And anybody else, Tracy and Leafy, my bro. Uh, he's, he's doing, Jason's doing a special tomorrow. Yes, they're all over this uh, clips thing. But he's going to be there to see it. And it's all that thing. I, it's just not my thing. I don't really do what everyone else does. I never have. You'll find that. You'll be following Flat Earth British. I do my own thing. And I don't go with the what everyone else is doing. Remember, man, that's just me calling because that's what that's the way I roll. Okay, gifted man in one membership. Thank you, Queen Queen Gonflaith. It's really nice. I don't know what that means, but ooh, somebody getting a membership, I think it is. So that's nice. So thanks for eclipsing. Oh, that's it. Oh, no. And Bonnie, thank you. Vibes, Alva Billy, Frostborn, Didge, you're all in the house. Keith, thank you for popping by. Marianne, um, I'm going to be beside meditating tomorrow. I'm going to be inside meditating. Well, it, I wouldn't even worry about it, love. We don't have it here. It's in America. Yeah. And um, yeah, it's tempting to notice. Fucking hell. <laughs> the last time it happened, I ran out the back to have a look. I was like, mm, yeah, amazing. Let's get back in, make a cup of coffee. Um, Martin, have you ever seen any ancient transhuman type art or anything suggesting a transhuman? Possibly. Possibly. I'd have to have a think about that, though. My brain's just failing right now. Feeling, uh, uh, Mac, oh, yeah, mate. Mac Whitehead, yeah. Latest brother. So, thank you all for being here on this Flatter Day show, which is on Sunday daily. I'll be back very soon. Keep an eye on my community page. Make sure to subscribe to all Flat Earth British channels. Got stuff happening in the near future. I'm going to be doing things. I'll tell you later. I can't wait to act now. <coughs> right then. Peace and love to you all. Be good and don't do anything I wouldn't do. Make sure to share, donate even if you want to, and like this video. Thank you very much. Wiggly flat thumbs. Bubbles stay epic. <laughs>